they will dead mean. So everybody in the 313, I have a small dick, don't look at me. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's how the song goes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. <laughs> then they yeah. point and laugh, and then he doesn't become a rapper. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabbit, and everybody shoots rabbit, and that's it. Yeah. That's the alternate timeline <laughs> where uh, where people didn't. He had the, the thing is, what sucks is that that beat is like one of the best beats in hip hop. So if you rap badly on that beat, people are gonna are probably assault you. Like he was not in a place to do badly. He was. He didn't have the liberty to be like, ah, oh, I fucked up. Nah, someone would have attacked him. Yeah, they would have yeah, shot him crush for sure. Him. They would have shot his ass poorly on Shook One. You do not. They would have. They would have. They would have all jumped on him at the same time. Tore him apart. Yeah, they would. <laughs> they would have just asunder. Like as like they're zombies. Just they, <laughs> just <laughs> disembowel yeah, him. Yeah, <laughs> just gone. <laughs> Poor rabbit. <laughs> poor, poor rabbit. Just getting poor torn kid. apart, and he's like, ah, that's a really not hot coffee pot, and then he dies. And then, yeah, yeah. My ah! palms are sweaty. <laughs> Knees aren't attached. Arms are missing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking dumb. Anyway, welcome, welcome to Star Trek Podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, nothing happened this week. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Like, nothing of any consequence. You didn't see anything happen this week? It's kind of crazy, yeah, yeah. Nothing. nothing at all. It's been so nothing boring. That I saw, nothing that I saw. Nothing at all. You didn't have any mm. good times while making fun of memes. Nothing. Like, nothing nautical. Really? Nothing. There's nothing. Nothing like, aquatic. Nothing aquatic. Aquaman based. Yeah. Now, I, was, I, I was listening <laughs> to the uh, the the Beatles. Yeah. Um, you know that Yellow Submarine is a fucking. That's a hit, man. That's, that's a, a good hit. song, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's the I hate that song actually. actually. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a, a terrible, terrible wor- fucking song. I, I <laughs> fucking hate that song. I like that song actually, but also because I liked it when I was a kid. We all song. live in a yellow submarine. It is a kid song. We in the submarine. It's, 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 it's it. It is. It is. Mary had a little lamb borderline. Like it, it would be if you if you like Yellow Submarine, you are the type of person. That listens to Mary Had a Little Lamb on Spotify. Right. Like, that's on your fucking Spotify. No, right. It's not, it's not Spotify yes, it is. All. That is equivalent, dude. beans in my yellow submarine. On toast. <laughs> Animal crackers <laughs> in my soup. But that is still the funniest, no, is no, the no, funniest no. thing. Because I bought that cassette, and then there was blackface in it. And my grandma only showed me it once. There, there wasn't blackface in the cassette. No, there was black in that in that ca- copy, that little thing of the little movies. There's the one where she did blackface. It's literally in there. It's like the oh, third in the movie. Thing. Oh, I thought you were talking. Not the not, not the commercial. Cassette. Not the commercial itself. No. No, 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 no. no. But what you said, the cassette. Cassette that little, is music. That would have been sick as that. fuck. That would have been awesome. <laughs> you imagine blackface music? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's imitating what black people sound like. It is just amazing because we sound amazing. <laughs> you, think you think there's somebody like a rapper named Blackface and then like, but he didn't, you know, no one told him. It's just like, hops in. Like no, no one, <laughs> like no one told him. The artist it's Hopson? Hopson? That, was, that, was, that was mean. Hopson. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leave Hopson alone, bro. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> He Yo, I, that was that was uncalled for. Wrong, I once got made fun of. For. I got made fun of for showing somebody. I was it, I was showing. I was like, oh, check out this dude's flow. And I got made fun of for just showing, like, ill. You, <laughs> you got like beat Hobson? up. You got, <laughs> somebody gave you <laughs> a noogie like, and killed so you. I, I just like, found why? out about the guy. I just found out about him, and I was like, "Oh, this is a really dope flow." It was. Don't get me wrong. The song was actually really. It was kind of cringy. It was like it's some saw cringe. thing. It was like some saw theme. But he was like, his flow was like. I was like, "Yo, he reminded me of." Um, Who's that cringe biracial rapper? I can't think of his name right now. Logic? Yeah, he reminded me of Logic in this flow. Don't disrespect. <laughs> don't disrespect Logic. I hate you niggas. I hate, I hate you. I hate you. But yeah, look, Logic, look, look, look. Logic, I understand people think Logic is cringe, right? He, he did I think the he whole is. thing where he was, where he was, he was, op- whenever you have a problem with social media and people start making fun of you about it, if you open up and you talk about that shit, the trolls win, right? So he did that, right? He did that. He started talking about it, and the trolls didn't stop, right? Yeah, yeah. They, now, they sent him a bunch of. They sent him a bunch of <laughs> a letter. They sent him letters in the mail saying you're gay. <laughs> so now <laughs> so they did. doesn't give a fuck, right? Because yeah. he's made he made one of the best hip hop albums ever, like objectively now, Ooh. and it's just like, damn, you can't Ooh. like. 
under pressure was so good it was almost this like i was almost mad i'm a logic fan i'm like hey. i thought it was i thought it was dope i thought it was dope that he had uh, david Hayter on that track that was the, the like I, I can't remember which track that was but that was that was pretty dope he, he, made he did no track, did, he, no did he do there's no pressure yes yeah well, did he do the one i i can't i, I don't remember if it he was did him a song or not. Did with he, uh what you got with um with Seth the, the, the yeah family guy dude yeah, 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 that was like unreasonably good too. So like, yeah, I, I like Logic. I, Hobson to me is just like it's weird because like Hobson, like it's. You it, he was on that's so Raven. Was he? What? Yes, he was. Hobson. Yes, he was. He wasn't a like con- as him. He wasn't a constant character. He was, it was who he, who became Cop Hobson. Oh, so he was, was like act- a he was like yeah. an actor before he started rapping. Yeah, I had no Did idea. Did you know fucking Larry David was on Hannah Montana? He's a rapper. You know that? I, I what? What? <laughs> 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 hey, what, what if what if he has mad bars? I what if he's like really good? I haven't said what like that in a long time. I said yeah, yeah. what genuinely can be what you, you know what I want to look up it? right now? A uh, uh, curb what? your enthusiasm beat. You know somebody's made a beat out of that theme oh, song. Oh, easily. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like and, and, and someone just. Boop. <laughs> yeah. Yow, yow. Check this flow. Yo, I already know. I'm chilling in the snow. And I have a dildo. And here it goes in you know my ass. Crazy? Yeah, I have no I've, class. Yeah. Sorry. I've had nightmares about <laughs> dying to that song. You have nightmares of dying to the Kirby Enthusiasm well, thing? That Why? The Seinfeld song. Because there's just what if that was, what if, what if, songs. What if, what if such the... stupid <laughs> songs that get killed to, dude. What if, I mean, I guess. <laughs> such stupid fucking... I do. I do often worry about that because I, I listen to music so often that the chan- the chances that I will die, or that I will be found dead listening to music, is not even close to zero. It's not even slim. Mm. Like there's always something playing. No point. And so I wonder, like, what it will be. Like, what's it gonna be? It's. It's. I'm gonna be real. It's. It's the ODST soundtrack a lot of the time. I just. Pl- I just blast that shit in my house because it's just like nice. For, but for- like, uh, which would that would be nice if if I was found dead to the to. The overture of ODSA, I'd be happy with that. The rain, the fucking mm. smooth jazz, that's fine. I'm all right with that. But if it's like Weird Al or something, like that, I don't know, man. That, that would. Well, here's a question. That would ruin. Here's a good question. What okay. would you want to die to? What song? I know exactly what I want to die to. I know, I'd want to, I know what I'd want to die to. What's that? Uh, what you, it's, uh. Wait, I'm the, Oh, Touch My Body by Mariah Carey. That'd be fucking Touch hilarious. My body? That shit's blaring while I'm dead. I'd, like, like, I'd want to die. To death, and I'm like, <laughs> is that really? Is you that really the one? Is that really the one? Fighting someone to death, right? <laughs> You're having a bout to like one of us has to die. Me or you? We get one of us got to go, and you guys are battling, and that song's blaring. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think I'd, <laughs> I. I think I have I have three songs that I think I'd I'd want to die to. I think uh-huh. one is uh. Herb. Uh, I think Ocean Man. Ocean Man. Ocean Big Man, un, uh, Man, Under the Sea, and Under Pressure. <laughs> I don't... Okay. <laughs> okay. No pressure. Never graduated, but I school of my professor. I mean, <laughs> I'm... Told me I was less... <laughs> Okay, I mean that's fair. That's fair. Do you want to uh, be in a? Do you want to be in fair. a freaking? Specifically, specifically, <laughs> if I was in a submarine that exploded in an instant at the temperature of the sun, that's that's those are the songs that I think I would like to hear. Could you yeah, as as I was as I was that? boiling in an instant. Someone I mean that's that that's the only way to go down. out. If you were yeah yeah. Would you, so if <laughs> if do you guys? I have a proposal for you. So I've been okay. talking to one of my billionaire buddies. Billionaires. And man. he invited no me. School. He said, hey, I lost all of my money investing in submarines. And I, I – because nobody right. wants to uh, pilot this project anymore. So right, yeah. would you take this off my hands for me? And I'll, you can do whatever you want with it. So I ask you guys, would you like to go deep sea diving with me? No. Under no circumstances. Absolutely not. Dude, Under that no was, fucking circumstances. What happened – in the news, what everybody knows about was just a fluke. <laughs> that's okay. Cool. That was it's just that's a fluke. Right. That doesn't yeah, happen. Yeah. That does. That that was. It was literally like a. No, a shock. let me tell you something. <laughs> that wasn't a fluke at all. That was. Let me tell you something. That, <laughs> did you did you see you. <laughs> did you see the, uh, the like the the news report they did or like where they interviewed the people who were like talking about the sub? Did you see that? I saw where they were quite like, a few things. 
where he was like, it was there was a news guy interviewing them, and they were like, I couldn't help but notice how many parts of the sub seemed improvised, and. He's talking like he's talking to the guy and and the guy in the submarine's like I got this at Camper World um you know I got this at KB Toys and just like oh, fucking ridiculous K- KB yeah, it's one, Toys <laughs> It's one is still real is that can you yeah, still yeah, play KB I, Toys I got this Not over pipe here, cleaner dude. from fucking Lee Mac Pharmacy on McLean Avenue and like, <laughs> like just all these back home. all these all these fucking <laughs> things all of these ev- Everything about this <laughs> the was like door red flags. Was held together red by flags a shoestring. The whole way, the shoe. Yeah, it's a shoestring. The di- dude. The dude was. There was. There's footage of the guy tightening the bolts on the sub with a wrench. <laughs> Is that real? You. Yeah, for real. No, like, dude. No. I'm not. I wish I was kidding, no. man. <laughs> no. I wish I was kidding. You there's can't. No. Way in God's, no. There's no way you. In God's. You cannot. Let me explain something. I'm not. I'm not a scientist at all, right? I know for a fact you cannot produce the amount of torque necessary to tighten a bolt to withstand deep sea pressure you, with your fucking a hands. A person can't. A person can't. Of course You not. need like a hydraulic press tier machine to bolt that shit in. You're not doing it right, man. <laughs> I, I so dude, I feel bad for the kid, to be I honest. Know, the the kid is the only was, person I feel bad for. It was about really in that funny until I, I found out about him. Then I, I felt really sad. Yeah. I I still don't feel sad. I feel bad for him. But like everybody mm. else, like fuck them. Can I be honest? Like, I don't feel. How are you gonna? I just don't. Whoa there! Whoa 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 whoa! Hold on. This is Derek from the future. Just wanted to say before you think I'm a monster, there is a lack of context because I didn't know that the kid didn't want to be on the submarine. <laughs> <laughs> I find out later in the episode because we kind of circle back to the submarine talk, but I just wanted to put this in here. I just wanted to jam this in here before you all think that like I knew that the kid didn't want to be down there, then got you know imploded, and then I'm just like I don't care. That's it. Enjoy the rest of this gay episode. I can't uh, feel things. I'm Derek. There, I can't there, feel. There, the, like <laughs> it's already <laughs> scary enough just to go on a regular regular submarine, let alone go deep right, right. sea diving. Like deep, deep is the depths of hell diving uh that's so insane to me that i would have to be i would be i would be like james cameron because he had been interviewed too where james cameron is so involved in the process he's technically an engineer now too because yeah he he needs to know the ins and outs and where he was even explaining how one of the machines that he used to go to the deepest place you could go essentially uh Did they go to the trench? they drew it up on a computer, they worked out the mechanics for three years, just that part, and That's then they nuts. built the damn thing. And even knowing that stuff, I would still feel uncomfortable if right, I were that's going what I with mean. James Cameron. Right, but that, that's what so I mean. So the fact that like you it's... just said that, that they did the what? wrench thing, like, yeah, it man. sounds so yeah, unreal. It's... It sounds so it, it, fake. It, it, is the, it is the most, the second that thing, the second I saw that news thing, I was like, they are dead. <laughs> like there's no there's fucking no chance way. that they're alive, and I was told like they you, are if, dead. They, they are, are dead. They are dead. And, and you know, what, and you know, what, they they had the best outcome too, because they were gonna die the second. Yeah, like that's the, the best, best outcome, way to die. The best outcome. The best outcome of this was never that they come back alive, because that was never even an option. That was like never on the table. The se- that, that was that was a tomb the second they they fucking opened the tickets. That's like crazy. that it was <laughs> fucked. They were using a Logitech controller. It had one button like an elevator. Dude said it's got one button. It's like an elevator. It shouldn't be that complicated. <laughs> what is it? Did it shoot it's got missiles? A monitor what the hell in that there. button do? A fucking fuck, got a fucking a Sony Vio fuck. in there. It's just the fucking flashlight. And it's <laughs> it is it, it, it's it's fucked. So like the fact that they imp- the, the fact that they the fact that they imploded instantly Best way to Best die. case scenario. Didn't have them. to worry Best about. Best case scenario. Because I thought about. Because <laughs> what else? Like just one button? What the fuck does it do? One button. Just like, like the it old just, it turns the literally, <laughs> literally, literally up down. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Fucking insane That's, to see the Titanic. I love. I love how. I love how just. It's so – look, if this almost gives me a and, – and I know that I'm not – I don't actually believe this, but there's just a little part in my head that wants to think, were these people supposed to – were they sent to their deaths purposefully because of how 
poorly this thing was designed that it's like, of course it's going to implode once it gets far down enough. Like, of course it's yeah, going to implode. You couldn't... They, they paid $250,000 a pop to get on this <laughs> to, thing. To you least, couldn't... To crush, you, get crushed. You could not... You couldn't pay me that that money to do it. No. No, absolutely not. Yeah. It's not crazy. worth enough like that, money that because me, if you die, you, you, die. you can't do anything with it. That's what I, but that's what I mean. Like, I, I sincerely, and I, I, I know that a lot of people are going to be like, you're talking shit when you say this. And I know I, I've done a lot of shows in the last, like, two days that we've, we've mentioned this. We mentioned this at the beginning of Sacred. How could we not? We mentioned this at the, at, at the beginning of Constellation. How could we not? But, like, I sincerely mean this. There is no price on this earth high enough to get me in that submarine. 100%. You're yeah. gonna get me on a good submarine. You're gonna get me on a military grade one. I can I cannot go in the water till it gets dark. Yeah, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm good I on that. I just, start panicking. Yeah. It's not. I, it's, I can't do it. I would rather. I would go, and I mean this. I would go. I would go on James Cameron's submarine for billions of dollars. Like they, they, if they give me billions of dollars, I'll go on James Cameron's submarine with James Cameron. With James yeah, so Cameron, if I die, we both gone. I feel a yeah. lot so safer, rules, so, but I still wouldn't. <laughs> I just wouldn't do it. I would um, do it. You know what? But you know what I would rather do, which is just as stupid. But uh, go to space. I would. I would go to space, not in a. And and, and what I mean is by stupid something <laughs> in a that, in a minivan with one button yeah, controlled like, by a Logitech controller. Essentially, <laughs> if you guys saw, oh, you haven't seen it, Chris, but Fast and Furious Nine, how they launched a car to destroy a satellite. They 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 went into orbit to destroy a satellite in a car. They fucking manufactured a car. They 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 basically did what the submarine did, and then they s- s- survived. It, it's it's the dumb it's a, it's the dumbest shit on purpose though. <laughs> That's the thing that people need to understand yeah. about that fucking franchise. It's purposefully stupid. So, you know, it's like if so you if I you're mad it. about did it. You see? Did you see ten? Uh, yeah. Which did you lose one yet? It's yeah. It's it's not as it wasn't as crazy. It was a little more grounded. It wasn't as crazy as nine, which disappointed me, and it disappointed me that the, the franchise isn't over yet. It's still going. They it's, said this was the last movies, one. Man. It's two more movies. They said this was the last one. They two fucking movies, lied bro. to me. I was ready for it to be done. I was ready. I was ready to put this behind me, move nah, on to a next chapter close. of some bullshit. And now I have to invest more years that in this shit, shit. That shit finna have a three pieces, bro. I I know, and it pissed the me the fuck gotta off. Show up? Who else got to show up? The, like, um, I that's the one I will say. That's the one crazy thing that they the rocks back. Yeah, because I thought that they were never gonna be homies again. I thought that because you know how they were shooting the last film that they did together, they were never even in the same fucking room. That's how bi- that's how Ooh. much the beef got, and so I just assumed that they were never. And especially on Instagram, I know I'm going on a tangent real quick, but on Instagram, Vin Diesel called out The Rock and called him little brother because he's a little bit older. But I'm like, you don't call a giant 6'5 guy that could, you know, crush your head like a watermelon little brother. And I thought that was going to be it from there. Like, fuck you. I'm done. But, you know, it, it kind of shows me that there is hope between massive ego rich people, unlike there was hope for these submarine people, you know. There was no hope for them because that was too stupid. There's a but at least of them going down. <laughs> There's like a diagram <laughs> of them going down, and it implodes. And it's so I like people are like it's education. I was like, no, that's mean spirited. That it's, shit is fucked, bro. That thing looks hilarious. You know what? It was funny. I don't know if this guy's happened. I don't know if this happened to you guys. Logged on YouTube, recommended homepage, a video that came out a couple of months ago. On what 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 happens when a submarine <laughs> implodes when it's past its dive level? <laughs> that was fucking. I couldn't help but. Of course, I watched it, but it's. Just, yeah, yeah, I yeah. just. I loved how people found that video and then it immediately the algorithm's like, I know all of y'all want to see this, and they're like, Yes, it's I do. Really, it, the, the, I absolutely like, what do. happens? <laughs> what happens is honestly crazy. It's like it, it's like, insane. It's. it's <laughs> It's it sounds like a really horrifying way to die, but they probably they, they literally probably didn't even notice. No, they died. It's like you know, instant headaches, death. So instant death. They probably got it's like, like it's headaches. like those memes. You know those memes when like people um like they they just step and then suddenly like the background changes to heaven or whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's that's how I think it's like within like a mil a couple milliseconds. Yeah, every the, you I think you're you you're boiled instantly to the heat of the sun, and then it and then you're crushed. Yeah, you're done. 
within like less than a second. You're a, fucking, well, you're a diamond, dude. You're a fucking. You turn this, into right? a diamond. I think. I think <laughs> it's not quite as quick as you. I think they don't probably feel pain the whole time. No, you. No, no, no it's instantaneous. instantaneous. It's it is no, 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 instantaneous. No, no, no. They do feel dude. uncomfortable because no. what happens is that they're going down to that point. You know, it's not like there's there's pressure building as you fall, and then eventually when they die, it was just that's it. But they're probably feeling sick. I mean, they're probably gross they, they might be like down. And then yeah, but it's not pop. like it, but it's not like death sick. <laughs> oh no, yeah, you they're know? probably just feeling not good. <laughs> it's like, like oh, oh. Uh, we shouldn't be here, and then and then they're gone. <laughs> It, it is. It is honestly like some of the. <laughs> like, oh. I don't know, man. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't pay me. You, you couldn't pay me. I, I don't know what. I don't know what compels people because they're not. Because the thing is, it's like I can almost respect it if they were explorers doing something like never before done. Yeah, you know what I mean? Going to the like fucking but, Titanic. But just going to the tight. We've seen the Titanic. We went to the Titanic in the fucking eighties. We've seen. We we know what it looks like. We've seen. We've sent drones down there. It's not. James Cameron's been down there. Yeah. Like it, it's not. Who gives Uncharted territory that you're carving out for it's yourself. A you're just going down. Ship. Well, it's, 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 it's a it's a they, rusty they, it's ship. Because they want to go down there and experience it. Yeah, and that's they stupid have, as because fuck. they are rich and it's like true. I've earned so much money in my life. I deserve to see this. Which at the same time, did you just say earned? Life, Shut up. Working, Shut your fucking. That's, mouth. What, that's what they think. That's what they think. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Like, fair enough. Fair enough. At the same time, it's like yeah, you know, like I've lived, I've lived, fucking, you know, my life, and I'm gonna work up and I'm gonna go get a fucking katana made for me one day, you know, because I earned that. <laughs> so like, but I didn't earn, you know, going. I, I don't feel like I just like. There's certain aspects where like humans don't belong in places, certain places. Yeah. One of them is definitely under the ocean. Like we don't. Yeah, two 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 and a half there. miles under the ocean. I would argue is probably one of the places that humans are least equipped to go. Shouldn't be there. Just a my opinion. Broad statement for yeah, sure. Broad but... statement. Very wild statement I'm making right now. I'm saying a lot right now, but I'm t I think I'm gonna stand by that. <laughs> I mean, I'll look, yeah. I'll take my chances in space because at least I can have a suit and I can float in space. I can't just float under that deep underwater with any type of suit. You, you know what I mean? Dead. So even if like there's a catastrophic failure of uh, of our shuttle, there is a possibility that you could have enough oxygen and there being a space station enough to possibly save you. No, versus, but but well, but yeah, yeah I get because what you you're, mean. you're you're not gonna. It's, well, for, well, yeah, it's, it's a not. way cooler. It's a way cooler way to die anyway. That's true. <laughs> you say there's like not, it's way but cooler like, if you're it's like, bro. You died in space, man. Yeah, I mean, That's dying nice. in space. Would, I mean, it would it would be pretty uh, legendary, and hopefully you would have one ghost. of the songs blaring <laughs> in your suit. No one's ever. You know what's crazy? I I, I no one's ever died in space. Definitely, animals have. Well, yeah, we we killed that dog. <laughs> we killed several but, dogs and monkeys and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah but no, no, no human has ever died in space. You sure? Yeah, hundred percent. Everyone's always died like on reentry and shit like that, right? It's always it's always on reentry or like on on, on, on takeoff. Entry. Unfortunately, sometimes I don't. I, but how do you know that? Because it's just a I don't. What do you mean? It's just a, it's literally just a fact. I don't. I don't it's know. just a fact like that you confirmed. You looked it up yourself. I mean, I just I found this out recently. You can look it up right now and, and see, see if I'm wrong. I, I don't I don't think I'm wrong though. I don't think there's ever been a recorded human death in space. I just that sounds kind of impossible to me. But at the same time, I guess how many space missions have been launched throughout? Yeah, the we world? haven't really like. Remember, I, I because, guess the, the closest thing the closest thing I, I can imagine somebody has had diarrhea on the space station on the ISS. <laughs> where they, Maybe like, the chitto took off and blew up. Yeah, but that's not in space. I was I mean. watching that in school. I was watching that in school live, and I almost laughed, and I realized people were like, <gasps> and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to laugh right now. But I was like, yo, how do we make it to the moon if shit like this is still happening? So, um, <sighs> was Apollo 13 not in space? So Apollo 13? Yeah, that you know, that's like an infamous incident. The one that went there's missing, even right? a, There's even a movie about it. There's actually even I mean, they died on didn't didn't it re-enter? I think they Which one was Apollo 13? I think they died while they're in space. I don't think so. Apollo 13. I don't Apollo remember. Apollo 13 was the 17th crew mission in the Apollo space program. What was the, the 7th crew mission Apollo space program and the third meant to land on the moon. The craft launched from Kennedy Space Center 
April 11th, 1970, by, uh, but the lunar landing was aborted after the oxygen uh, tanks and service modules failed two days into the mission. I think they came back, right? Did they die? Died in flames while lying on their backs on the, on, in, their, in their moonshit in a routine ground test for their February All orbital flight. All the crew flight. members survived the catastrophic accident. They did not die. Oh, they survived? They survived. Everyone what? died? Oh, I think there's a Mandela. Yeah, I think there... Oh, I think, interesting. I think there's a Mandela I was, that I was they convinced died. that you were right, too. I was Because I thought, on. like, yeah, the Apollo 13 was a, was a death thing. But I didn't think it was in space. I figured it was, like, on reentry or something. Hold on. Splash down in a target... The Apollo 1 had a, was a tragedy. The mission... Fire Jesus the Christ. One, I'm, I'm getting all fucked up now, because I think I remember even watching a video of, like, everyone thinks this happened, but this didn't happen. You're gay. And I was like, oh, oh, I didn't... I, well, I knew I was gay, but I didn't know about this thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's I can't remember. I, I heard. I think I, I heard it in some uh, some interview with um, somebody who would. It was like a Neil deGrasse Tyson type person, where like <laughs> technically every where like technically every death related to space flight has always happened like either on reentry or uh, on the you know in experimental flights, never actually breaching the atmosphere. So there's never been a human recorded death in space, and I'm I am. Aiming to be the first one. We got to change. I'm gonna that. go. In, I'm gonna go into space. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do one of those like space flights. Those tourist space flights. Yeah. Take a bunch of sleeping pills and die. Yeah. No. 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get on the space flight and then like just com- just twist my head around. Oh, <laughs> so, you can, so you can break the mold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so I could die in space. You just want to be famous. You just want to have that one thing. You. Don't... I want to have that one thing. I'm. I'm. I'm Chris. I. I died. I was the first person to die in space. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I know. Your history is is set there. Then you know what I mean. You are you are technically intrinsically related to the universe in a way no one else is. <laughs> yeah, it's really, which is really stupid, but it's also like, damn, bro, you're a <laughs> the only thing I have in common. Uh, the, I I only the only th- living object that or living person or living thing that has anything in common with me is that dog. No, several animals have died in space, and the monkey. No, multiple monkeys and dogs. No, dude, dude no. But most of those, most of those animals, for real. Like, I think, I think I read something recently where most of them died, like in the fucking, like, like while, like from the uh, the G's. What's it called? From the G's. <laughs> it's so sad. So they just shot like dead bodies into space. That's so sad. But imagine being the owner of that dog and be like, oh my god, I'm gonna have the most famous dog ever. Prove it, prove it. And then you open your Russian thing and your dog's flat and you're like, God damn it. It looks like a rug. It looks like he a looks, costume. He looks like, it's, he looks like, a, like when a cartoon character gets flattened in Roger Rabbit. <laughs> you just have to like peel wobbling. it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, don't go to the fucking ocean, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know what there is for you there. Nothing, it's the fucking Titanic. Good. Google it. There's only going to be you know what's really crazy fucked up about creatures it? and dead shit. You know, but you know what's really fucked up about it too is like they went down there and there was like the submarine as I saw it right they, there was this one really small window and there was a there was a TV in it so it looks like there was just like a camera outside the ship or outside the submarine so that they could see the wreckage of the Titanic but it's like at that point you're not even really seeing it you might as well just send a drone down there exactly. or like a, like you know what I mean like what's the point of even being there that's how I felt. I was talking about that yesterday. Like, why, crazy, why, why wouldn't I just watch footage that? of it? What, where it is, creatures don't go down there. <laughs> like there are probably There's things some, that exist. There are down some there. creatures. No, there are probably yeah. things that exist down there. Absolutely, but nothing goes down there. I, I think actually. You understand what I mean? I, I think actually, I'm not even kidding. I think there's a certain penguin that can go that. That's that far not down. true. I'm not. I'm not joking. I swear penguins to God, penguins can't go that deep. I'm not all sure. penguins. There's like a specific kind of penguin that goes that far down. Oh, Which the, the, one? The the I don't know. The deep sea penguin. penguin. The, the deep sea penguin. Infamous for being bad. It's a deep sea penguin. I the swear to God, for being bad deep sea penguin. <laughs> and there's a penguin with like a gun in its hand, just shrouded in a gun in, at you, just shrouded <laughs> in notoriety, dude. Just the <laughs> the Titanic. Uh, the Titanic is two point. F- I think two point three miles. Underwater, yeah. But no, like, honestly, though, heard. why does anybody give a fuck about the Titanic? To be like, honestly, no, man. It's that fucking movie. It's it a, was the biggest. It was the biggest vanity project in human history. I think it was it at the time. That's something to marvel at. But then you had a just a complete dumbass captain. That's like, 
eh, no moonlight. Who gives a fuck, you know? I've been warned multiple times about ice, but I don't care. And then just literally, whoops. <laughs> like, that's not interesting to me. That, I don't, that's not interesting at all to me. Jack, is her name Sally? Is her name Sally? Is no. Her name? No. Rose. Ro- Rose. Oh, Rose, duh. Her. That bitch. Yeah. And no then that, that fucking, the end of that stupid-ass movie where he you freezes to death, water. where he had plenty of room to be on that fucking door or whatever, that piece of wood with her, where I'm just like, I can't, you, you fuck up my suspension of disbelief when shit like that happens. Or it's like, y- y'all both could have survived. At least make the piece smaller. Lay if you want to tell the her. same fucking story, Lay make the her. piece. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If th- somebody drew, there's like multiple pictures of how they could have um, uh, um, been on that together. That's one of the first things I saw on the internet, I think. It's like one of the first <laughs> things I remember like, seeing on the internet for real. Right? It's like ah, people being like, she could have been out here easily. And I'm like, damn, that's, damn. So it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, just make it a little bit smaller. It was like, okay, I'm rewatching The Walking Dead right now uh, just because I haven't seen it since it, it started, right? And so I stopped appa- watching. Sorry to interrupt you, Derek. Apparently, yeah. I got the season 10 of that show. I you got did? way far you in that show than I thought 10? I did. You got the season 10? Yeah. Bro, I, I checked out after, I don't even need to say spoilers. This is fucking, it was forever ago. Um, When Negan bashed in Glenn, that was the like the last thing that I saw. I think I that's thought, like season six or something, or, or five or something. I stopped there, but apparently, I watched well further into that's, it. That's fucking four more years like, of Walking Dead, man. I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I am, I have no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how stupid it becomes, because it's already getting really dumb. Like, there was, I just want to say this one scene that infuriated me so much, where Michonne had the governor dead to rights in his room, kills the daughter, Right, With the daughter. Yep, and I then like actually... he like hits her or something. I mean, uh, she hits him, and then she gets her weapon, and then ch- chokes him instead of just stabbing him. She out of nowhere, she she stabs everything, and then all of a sudden she has the opportunity to end it, and then she puts the thing under his neck and tries to choke him for some fucking ri- just the. It, it's one of those things where Without like suspension even of disbelief. The sharp side, do it. She didn't even have the sharp side. It's do like it. why I would remember you... that scene directly? That's at the end of the of, of the third or fourth season. Third or she something. She goes and she tries to kill him naturally. She just kills the little zombie daughter, and it's like, oh, he's right They're there. They're fighting. Game time. Game time. Kill Michonne. You've killed everyone instantly. The whole two seasons you've existed so far, and she fucking does that. She does that little thing. That little thing that just ruins shit for me. Where I'm like, bro. Just write it better. Come to the same conclusion. Like, she doesn't have access to her weapon somehow so that she can't stab him. And then all of a sudden, I'm totally in. I'm totally fucking in. Why do you have to write shit like that? Why? I remember that <laughs> scene vivid. I remember that scene vividly. It's crazy. It's just, it was it's, so stupid. <laughs> I want to know what is it that compels people to do things like that when they clearly don't have to. When they, it's just, it's just these little things that kind of ruin an entire scene. Where I'm like, this fight scene would have been totally solid if you didn't do this extremely eyesore, this glaring thing that is so out of some person's character. Where I'm like, bruh, like, why? Why? It happens just all looking, the time, though. It happens all the time. It's one of the that's things. Just that, media in general, you have to, like, you have I'm, to I'm just looking at, to a degree, which is unfortunate. I'm just looking at all these fucking are you looking at horrible, penguins. I, huh? Are you looking at penguins, or what are you doing? I am looking at Pang- I, so I was I was right. It was like point five miles, which is fucking crazy. Actually, so Pang- they can go that Pang- deep. Go yeah, half a mile like, down. Nothing else no, no, goes no, no, down no. there. Like whales no, no, no. and shit. There are there are there. there's probably like maybe bacteria that probably goes down there. But that's no, about no, no, that's probably no, fucking no. about it. There are things that exist down there, but but they don't come up. Goes there. Nothing's like let's go down this far. They're like, nah, oh yeah, I'm not yeah, going yeah. That I far. mean, they're obviously you know, and they're they're not acclimated to go down there anyway. So. Yeah, that's why. Cause nothing <laughs> yeah, they're gonna should die. Be yeah. There. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's dark. It's dark. There's a fucking fish with a see-through forehead with glowing teeth or something like that. Dude, I fuck, like yeah, I hate. I hate. <laughs> I'm looking at. I'm looking at all the animals that the, can swim the at the depth of the Titanic. I'm looking at the animals that can swim at the depth of the Titanic, and it's fucking really. It's dislike. just monsters, man. They all look literally. like the monsters. D&D. Yeah, literally. They look like D&D creatures. They're like, I can't, <laughs> I can't be okay knowing this exists. I just want when, to... When, what can we do? Can we, uh, we need to get the, the power of the sun in the palm of our hands to light up the just the depths of the ocean so we can see everything. I, I, I bet it was... 
it was really bright near the Titanic for like a half, a half second. <laughs> but we need you know to keep crazy because I'm really gonna do that. You're gonna look in the water and it's gonna see something blink, and it's gonna be way too big for you to be okay with seeing it. <laughs> That's blink. what I'm saying. And you're gonna freak the fuck. It's gonna out. be like, like as big as the United States, con- like you know, like continent. There's just gonna be like some squid just chilling there, like just like. You startled. It's just gonna move a little bit. Derek, that is so and inconceivably it's gonna be a fucking tidal wave. And I'm gonna be like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Everybody thinks that is so big. Everyone that is the moon. Seeing something, this, seeing something the size of the United States is probably so big that it's probably no longer terrifying. It's, no, 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 it's probably it's, like you it's probably, probably can't so even dis- differentiate it from land. Die. Do you know, like, you have to die. You can't yeah, you know would it, like that exists. You wouldn't. You would think it's probably a piece of land, right? Because. It, there's no way you can, yeah, conceptualize that this is a, a being unless it's far away, like the the moon, where the moon in diameter is roughly um, the the size of the United States, for example. But it's so far away that Wait, it, really? it's not intimidating. Yeah, it's the it's not diam- diameter is the whole thing, right? Radius no, di- half, that's right? circumference. Diameter is just from the across. Like okay, so, like yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's roughly around that size, and. So imagine when you see like sci-fi things when the moon is like really fucking close to the planet. That shit would freak me out, dude. Like seeing like uh, like the, a satellite that fucking close. Like there's something whenever I see that in sci-fi, the way that people make that, it I have this weird visceral reaction where I'm like, that's ape. just it, exactly you're an ape, and that's big. Up, <laughs> I love that, that shit. I was so I love what it I looks so, like, but it freaks me I out. I remember being I remember being so disappointed when I found out the sun didn't look like the Lion King. <laughs> You know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. You gotta, you like, gotta like it's, in, buddy. It, what, what do you say? Wait, wait. Yeah, I don't yeah, like it's that big, it's like that big, that big circle. <laughs> yeah, you, you the, know? That's so, that's maybe what it looks like. Nah, not even, not even on Venus. Not even on Venus. But I, <laughs> <laughs> on Venus, you're fucking boiling. On Venus, yeah, that's very true. So maybe on Venus, Mercury. You're your pain. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that, the, the, uh, the probe that went into to Venus? And see, like, how it just survived for, like, just, uh, I forgot how many seconds. But, like, before it just melts. It's really cool. It's really cool footage. Oh, I didn't fact, see that. No. Yeah, the where they just Venus is send so it crashing into Mercury Venus. Mercury is crazy. That's, it's, it's just gas. Yeah, just, just all the fucking gas is gas. just being trapped in there. Which is, like, you know, I feel like if we, <laughs> in, uh, in, a, in a few thousand years, if the trains keep going the same way they're going... Essentially, that's what the Earth's gonna turn into because of all of our fucking polluting. Yeah, you know. we're trying to we're trying to beat the two the two something curve, or whatever. And we could if we if we get it to two and a half, we'll be fine. If we get it to three, <laughs> get it to three, a lot of everything that's at the shores are gonna be like the shores of America are gonna be like Indianapolis and shit. You know, <laughs> that's just horrible. <laughs> like imagine that's that. so crazy. Where it's imagine like imagine Texas. The United being States is a fucking shore. island now, essentially. Imagine <laughs> Texas being a shore, Derek. Texas <laughs> being a shore. Oh, where does the West Coast start? In the middle of where Texas was. Yeah, That'll be <laughs> mind blowing. You fall asleep for like four I mean, years, you wake up and that's the world. I guess like Where's at least Africa the billionaires that <laughs> <laughs> at least the billionaires because you, you gotta imagine some of the people that were in that submarine, rest in peace, uh that they pieces. Could... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, literally. Yeah. I can't believe there was people. Did you see the people that were, you know, they were getting mad that people were making jokes and there was people that like, oh, it's, it's, why are you being so insensitive and all this shit? I'm just like, you guys, where have you been? Where's the, I mean, like, yeah, it's weird. It's, it it is weird. Like the, the, the willful ignorance of that is insane. The policing of it is pretty crazy to me. It's like, when Stephen doing? Hawking died, people were sh- people were like constantly tweeting the fucking window shutdown sound like <laughs> moments after everybody. <laughs> like I don't know where you think you are that <laughs> that this is not going to every everything that every single bad thing is going to have joke. As, Stephen Hawking is a good person Especially something like too. this. That's what makes it crazy. As, He's a good dude and they did that. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like even even somebody who did like amazing shit is is just like it, it you cannot avoid the disrespect on the internet I, i'm always actually 100%. like astounded i'm actually like really astounded at how many people are like surprisingly like really fucking soft and i'm not even talking about like the people about this situation i'm talking about like because I, I saw something recently about like dr disrespect and hassan fighting because hassan said something like uh because I, I there was a whole call of duty thing where like some streamer got their got their uh 
bundle pulled from Call of Duty oh, because yeah. he said something homophobic. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Dr. Disrespect was like, uh, I'm gonna, I want my skin gone as well. Right. And Hassan was like, damn, he's more, he's more faithful to Nick Merckx than he was to his own wife. That's fucked. <laughs> that's, which is, uh, oh, that's a good which, one. That's but a that's good funny. one. But that's also, damn, oh, he's more son. loyal to, to, but dude, it's like, it's, it's an obvious joke. Yeah. And then Dr. Disrespect is like really butthurt about it. But like, dude, your name is Dr. Disrespect. Right. And his whole like, persona. How do you, like, you can't, toxic, you can't, literally. you can't be named, you can't name yourself Dr. Disrespect and not be able to handle base disrespect. Especially since it's true, you know? though. It's also yeah, like, like what? <laughs> yeah, he like he fucking cheated, what? Did he? Yes, he was an in fucking fidel. He cheated. Well, he cheated on his pregnant wife. I'm pretty sure. Nice. And which is like that. There's there are levels to that too, where it's like that's extra. Like it's bad to cheat. It's bad to cheat on. It's it's worse to cheat on your wife, and it's especially heinous to cheat on your pregnant wife. Dude, ask like, there's the like, Kardashians. There's like a, they know what that shit it, feels like. It's sucks. it's like prestige. <laughs> it's, it's like. It's like prestiging almost. Hell yeah, dude! Where it's like Jesus Christ, he, he hit he hit max cheating rank. The only thing left go. is like Let's the go. only thing left. The only thing left is to is cheating on your wife who who has cancer or something. Like that, that's like the, that's the last thing you got. That's the last. But you've got all you've got you got six of the seven Dragon Balls as far as that goes. Hell yeah, dude! But <laughs> but like, dude, like I don't know, man. And and he was he he got so mad about it. I was like, dude, you can't. Like, you know it, why he got so like, mad? Because the real does shit it hurt him. That shit really Yeah, I know him. it hurt, yeah. but like I mean, you can't. Ex- you, you can't. can't not I agree. I totally that agree. I'm joke. like, you're doctor like, disrespect. If you, first of all, you brush it off. Yeah, first of all, if you didn't want people to know this, that's if you didn't want people to know your personal life like that, that's you, you had that option. That's per- that's perfectly fine. Yeah. There's no reason that anybody needs to know about that. That's between you and your family. Settle that shit privately, like with like the people who love you. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, crying about it on a stream it makes no fucking sense. Fans don't need to know that shit about you. It's parasocial as fuck. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. I just want to tell you Especially that. if you're not, like, fucking... Dude, I don't know, man. I, I just thought that was so funny. Dude's out there with his, like, fucking sunglasses and wig, and he's crying. <laughs> like, I, 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 Can I just say I never under-fucking-stood Dr. Disrespect? Uh, I don't even mean to say this as, like, a, a Hassan defense or anything, because I, really I really don't care. Mm-hmm. It's really just a matter of, like, I don't understand this guy you don't you, get it at you all. Know I, you, you know why? You know why? No, it's not, not, like it's not even that. It's, it's because you're not a, a, a douchebag. Because that's who he, <laughs> that's what he appeals to. He appeals to assholes because they like that shit. Why, why did, like, uh, uh, Andrew Tate, why did Trump or any of these people get so fucking popular? Because there's a lot of people who are pieces of shit, too, that want a champion. So now, Dr. Disrespect, I don't know him in his real life. He's probably a nice no. guy in his real life. But his persona of Dr. Disrespect is being a douchebag. And people love that shit. If you're not a douchebag... Typically, you, that's not something that you're just like, oh, man, that's my favorite guy. You can probably enjoy somebody in small doses. Like, I love a Vegeta. But, like, I couldn't just sit and watch fucking Vegeta stream for hours. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> that is... <laughs> can you imagine that shit? Derek, that is genuinely one of the funniest things you ever said in your. That's the fu- that is the funniest shit you've ever said. That is that is top <laughs> tier. Derek. Imagining, imagining <laughs> Vegeta, Vegeta streaming is the screaming. most ridiculous. <laughs> Kakarot, you stupid bastard, Kakarot, I hate you. I'll kill you, Kakarot. I'll fucking eat your kids. I'll eat oh Goten, Kakarot. <laughs> Oh my god, I love thanks Lin Manuel for the sub. <laughs> That's crazy. I really can't thanks I really can't fucking Jonathan. imagine that. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty cool. <laughs> thanks for the five hundred bits, Krillin. That's all like, you're gonna what give the me. the fuck is that? I that deserve is more. that is un- <laughs> that is uncomfortable to imagine. Like that actually like that makes me feel like I'm being like <laughs> Molested in some way, <laughs> like that's like I like a really deeply uncomfortable fucking thought. <laughs> Vegeta streaming and like the dead silence of him, like every now and then, like he's just like sitting and it's like dead silent for a little bit because he's just like reading chat to himself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> staring. Thanks again for the twelve gifted Kakarot. Kakarot. Y'all see you later at Weezes. <laughs> uh, hold on, my OBS isn't working. <laughs> I fucking hate I, I, this shit. Dude, him struggling, <laughs> him struggling to set up his stream would be fucking. That that would be fucking amazing. A I would. Thing l- that would I, oh man, I I wanna. 
I have to meet Christopher Sabat and can and pay him to do that. I, like, that would I be would. Next I level. would. That would yeah. I would level. pay all of my. I would give all of my savings to Christopher <laughs> Sabat if it meant that. Like I, I'll give all my savings to Christopher Sabat and kill myself the next day if I can. <laughs> I, if I can will that into the world. Go to a submarine. Although, the next although day. I guess you could do it with like AI now, mm. which but that's not as that's not as I don't know. It's, it's not, not as personal. Factory, there's man. there's a lot of really fucking. <laughs> Hilarious AI like covers of songs. Like I know we talked about it last time, but Did like we? the fucking Mr. Krabs that, singing Billy Jean is so good. It's it so, so good. good. It was so uncharacteristic. Like, like this is uncomfortable. Like when he hits those high notes, the kid is not my soul. And, like it's vo- it's so perfect. It's it is so, so on point perfect. that it's crazy. There's so many. There's a lot of good Vegeta ones too. Where like there's, there's Vegeta singing um, uh, "How You Remind Me." That was pretty good. <laughs> That's. It's, uh, they're trying to take my fucking one, job, man. One of Naruto and freaking Goku singing, um, what you call it? Um, I think it's like, do you remember or something like that? And I'm like, this is terrifying. Oh Because this sounds real. I yeah, know. Uh, there's this. a lot of them. There's a lot of them that sound like shit. But like, if you search through them enough, you find like really, really good. Like the, squ- I find that the Squidward ones are really good. <laughs> The SpongeBob related ones, almost all without exception, except for SpongeBob. SpongeBob's are always like not right, mm. but fucking Squidward and Mr. Krabs and Plankton are killing it in the music industry right now. Killing like it. they are fucking hitting it hard. I I, I saw. <laughs> should I uh, should I say that? Uh, now I'll save it. There's there's a great there's a there's it's it's a video spoiler, so I'm not gonna save it. Oh. But there's there's some there's some good stuff out there AI wise. Mm. It's it's look. We got to enjoy it now before it gets really scary. Is kind of how I feel uh, about it. Yeah, it's getting because the man. AI stuff's gonna get scary real quick. There's gonna be what's, what is it's gonna get bad when like there's an artist like an album's gonna come out and it's like artist this person did it blah blah blah. And then it's gonna be a Grammy. Then it's gonna be like actually it was AI and I'm like well it's over now. That's it. Now if now it's over. Yeah. Now we it, can mourn. We're we're almost there. I mean I th- everybody got duped by some uh, a, a brand new Drake single. That that you dropped. Know, uh, everybody was talking about like that's not Drake. Doesn't sound quite. I didn't. I didn't fall for it because it was a Drake and a Weekend one, and I was mm. like, these are not them. <laughs> I didn't hear it, so but I, I know saw, these artists. I just heard it blow up though, so I, I guess I'll, I'll take your word for it that it, just, it didn't, didn't quite sell. No, no, people it, were just it didn't dummies. Trick me. It might have tricked other people though, but it didn't trick me because I listened. To I'm sure it tricked other people, dude. Like I posted, dude. I posted a picture of like uh, this this deceased grandmother in fucking resin, like because there's the, there's a. There's a photo of these these uh these three people over like a big cube of like resin and I think the original image is it's still an AI generated image but it's like in the resin there's like a dog like and it's their dog it's like a taxidermy situation where like they froze their dog in resin so that it could constantly it it could be around forever but I replaced it with like this other image I saw that somebody sent me of like some old lady in it instead and I wrote this fake story about how like Oh, this family encased their deceased grandmother in resin and use her as a coffee table. And Chris, that shit I've got seen a, it. That shit got a physical reaction out of me when I saw that. <laughs> it got a, that it shit got a went, real did, reaction. Derek, out of did you me. see it? No, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? No, it's really right, hold, let unsettling. Me, <laughs> it's let me, very let me, unsettling, right. dude. Let me say, <laughs> you'll you'll get. It's fake, but I think you'll get a kick out of it because it's it's just. Uh, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's with the story. It's like a really off-putting image, but I have seen this fucking tweet. I'll, I'll put in the the little chat we got here. Right. I have seen this image. I think on like a hundred different Facebook pages. I think it, I, I saw it like twenty-five million views on on some. I think it's No Context Humans, which is a Twitter page. But like everybody, like a lot oh, of people okay, believe yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I did see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like a shocking number of people were like, oh my god. Because what was the original? I, what was the original? The original is a dog. The it's dog. like it's like right, it's right, like right. a some some golden retriever that's right, in it. That's right. But the do- but the golden retriever is hilarious because the golden retriever is fucking enormous. Like there's no like it's too big for the resin. Like it makes no sense. This is an AI generated image. But like, <laughs> I just love right. the premise of this, okay. especially because she's like the pose of her is like it's almost like she's saying no, stop, <laughs> like, don't pour resin on me. Uh, nah. <laughs> it's like she's frozen so it's in like carbonite. Fucking Resident Evil Four, like just like one of those. Like <laughs> it is. 
<laughs> Kill it. It is, but like, dude, everybody believed it. So I, I, I would absolutely believe that people like believed that that, that track was real. Yeah, I easily. actually just heard a little bit of it, and I was a little bit distracted. And I gotta say, dude, shit. I'm, it doesn't sound bad, it, but it's not it's, them, though. It's it's at, dude. It's because of the uh, the the uh, the auto tune the that is slapped on it. That's the thing that makes it like hard to decipher, discern whether it's authentic or not. And the thing is, which is what's so distracting about it, is that the song's actually good. It's it's good. That's the problem. Like too much. If it was a bad song, people would be able to snuff it out probably immediately. You know what but it is? It's, it's a good song. You know what it is? Unironically, and I'm not even kidding. A lot of really big producers, massive producers are just anonymously making, like, AI songs. and Like, under pseudonyms and shit. Huh. And so, like, they're just experimenting. They're having a blast. Ma- and they, they got, like, music production knowledge, so they know how to write a good song. They know how to, like, mix it and, and, and do all this shit. And then they got AI, so, like, people are like, yo, why does this fucking Squidward song sound so damn good? Like, what's going on? <laughs> and then th- th- there's comments like, yeah, this guy's a... Or, or like, I'm a, I'm a big producer, but I can't say. I need, like, peace out. Um, so like they're out there, man, and it's fu- why wouldn't you? It's so hol- it's hol- you could get at anybody. Yeah, you get you could get fucking uh, Shirley Temple rapping on the next Ice Spice song. It's a good <laughs> why not? This yeah. is, look. This is a good song. It's, it's a good. good song. Winter, it's Winter good. Cold is a good song, right? Like it is <laughs> just good, but I can tell it's not Drake. But I would not be surprised if another song came out that I'd be like, oh. Damn. What is it called? Is the one him? you're listening to? Winter's Cold. Right, listen to Heart on My Sleeve. Oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, look, Drake. Um, We're getting in the weeds. Now. Yeah, but that, this oh, this man. shit fucking is. This is. I, I'm, I'm almost like, yo, I kind of actually. <laughs> I really dig this. The 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 vibe of it, you know? Like, I, I, I want to hate on Drake all the time because he's fucking. He's a weirdo. But um, he's got some. He's got some solid shit, man. It's weird that he, uh, the, the only thing that I'll say about Drake is it's weird that he was texting Millie Bobby Brown. Oh. That's, that's weird. I, damn, I forgot about that, yeah. In my opinion. No, no, that's no, a it, it's, it's very weird. It was very weird because she was. It was, she was, it was, she, I, I'm sure it was innocent, but I, at the same I, time it's like that. I'm not sure. Bro, bro, I'm not sure. Do you have though? any fucking, uh, uh, 13 year old friends or 14, I forgot how old she was, but she was young as fuck. She was. She was. Well, she was like 16, like sixteen or seventeen. Was she sixteen? I thought she was like. I thought she was younger than that. No, she was she was sixteen when. They, well, I, well, actually, she might have been fifteen when they started talking, which is you know, Let, I don't know. Let's, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to spread misinformation. I just think it's weird. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's bizarre. Too, but I would have been like, yo, I I would have been like one conversation and that's it. I that's would it. talk okay, to her bye. no problem in person if we ran into each other. We're famous, whatever. But I'm not gonna be like, "Hey, yo, Bill, hey, hey, yo, Millie, let me get your number." You know, you, let me get your number. Let me get your let number. Get your number. Yeah. I, was the, I was in the wheelchair in Degrassi. You <laughs> remember me? Fucking as, as if she's old enough Jimmy. to remember Degrassi. I'm sitting in my Jimmy. wheelchair. Like, yeah, baby. Jimmy I'm fucking Jimmy with no legs. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm no leg Jimmy. They call me no leg Jimmy. You should call me out by cell phone. Look at me, you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> he hop on my what's, insane, what's so insane is that I remember seeing Drake the first time after he started rapping. Because he for me, he's the first like artist that became a rap, like an actor that someone else became a rapper to me. Like that was like my first one. It was him and Donald Glover. Mm. Did you see the fucking Drake and Josh? <laughs> the, the, I, I tweeted it. I tweeted it out. Oh, did you? Did you? Yeah, did you that's tweet what you saw. It? It what me. is it? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, 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 I saw it on TikTok like last night. Oh, Where'd you really? tweet it? I tweeted it out. Did literally, it's like drinking. I'll put it in. The... <laughs> it's so it's no, 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 if no, it's the same. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Because seeing it's it, part of the. Experience. Well, are we thinking? Are we thinking of the same thing? Is it the is it the underwater thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll copy the link and I'll put it in Riverside because it's gonna be fucking funny. If the audio listeners open episode like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll open the episode. We have to open the episode with that clip. Because that clip is too good. Okay, no problem. Check it and out if you're there. listening it's to this, then it's the funny. clip you've already seen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so it's so fucking funny. <laughs> right, let me see this thing. You have to know the context of it, though. You have to know the context of it to really get it. I don't know if... Did you ever watch Drake and Josh? <laughs> Yo, that's... Fu- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fucking excellent, dude. <laughs> it, it's, it's really good. Well, there was one meme, the funniest one I saw by far. You know the episode of, the, um, of, of uh, Ed and Eddie when they were trying to go to do the underwater theme park thing and they had the fake fucking submarine? <laughs> no! So one, I don't someone was that. like, they tried that. to go to see the Titanic in this shit. I'll show you the picture of the submarine. You're gonna. Yeah, I need to see. I don't. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh fuck, man! I did. <laughs> man, I wish fucking Drake wasn't a fucking uh, deviant, and they they would have a fucking reunion and shit, man. That sucks. Oh no, they'll never. They'll Why never are all Drakes fucked that. up, man? What's going on? We got. We got. We got to get to the bottom of this. Well, it's there's up? something about that what name is, that it that um, just turns you into a pervert. <laughs> Tragic four found dead in Ed Ed and Eddie tear scam involving a home in submarine. What is it? Can you imagine seeing that on the news? What's the submarine? I have to find it. Do you see a picture where you're gonna fucking throw up? I don't remember that episode. They were trying to scam people with this Ed Ed and Eddie sub or a submarine a vehicle. <laughs> a vehicle. Ed Ed and Eddie's so fucking insane. Wow. Where was that show supposed to take place? Where at an Eddie? Like, like, yeah, like that 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 cul de sac. Like, where the fuck is that supposed to? Like, it's I know hell. it's not supposed to. What? It's hell. Shut up! Your fucking bullshit cartoon conspiracy theories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Where, where, where are the adults at? That's more. Oh, land, ta- yeah. T- uh, Toph is autistic. All these, all these, like weird, like Toph, fucking she might be. theories. She's so good. She's blind, which is like a like it's like sight autism, I guess. <laughs> I think the theory of uh, the Rugrats being dead is true. I think that one's real. Like, Stu killed him or something, and they're, like, ghost or something yeah. like that. I forgot. There's, that, there's that scene of him making it. pudding I at, like, 3 a.m. found it. That's I, I, that that image, found that, by the way, that, that clip of Stu making pudding at, like, at 3 a.m. is, like, such an icon. That is, that is one of the most iconic clips of all time, I think. <laughs> I just love his yeah. response. Like, why are you making pudding at, like, 3 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning something because I've lost control of my life and I'm like that it was so it's such a perfect response because everybody's and, yeah. everyone has had a moment like that everyone has felt Absolutely. like that at some point I have moments like that constantly if, I, if I'm up at like 2 a.m. Yeah, what the fuck what is, is this what did you kill us forget this guys never mind never mind wait hold on forget wait, it guys I'm, gonna, I'm trying wait already. wait I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot I'm gonna take a screenshot of, of what Kingston I'm put in trying, the chat I'm trying guys I'm trying I want, I want Derek, I, Derek I'm gonna send this to you and I want you to put it in the episode yeah I, I got you I'm it's trying, the, the, guys. The, the, I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> that's so good I found it. I found it. I found it proper now. It's proper. What, what's the What's the time? You're like on the this? Uh, like Stephen A. Smith. Take a look, y'all, and then like how just an image link. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fifty seven minutes. <laughs> I found 50, it. Uh, fifty six. I got. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna check it right now. <laughs> oh man, dude, that that's that's it, dude. <laughs> that, that's I mean, it. that's what that's... you went to do the Titanic. <laughs> Put that in the episode. Too. You tweet that shit out. <laughs> you should tweet that shit out. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that is that is really fucking good. That, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> The Ed and Nettie sub if you if you Google Ed and Nettie submarine that's that's I, I or not submarine but like rocket, rocket homemade rocket rocket car they went to the that is so that is went, so fucking funny they went to the Titanic in some fucking shit that a some shit that a nine year old with his dad could have built bro that's so there is insane. something funny there, there, there's also something extra tying into Ed and Nettie because they're always trying to make twenty five cents. And they're trying, always trying to make a quarter, and they paid a quarter mil each to get in. Damn, literally. Ima- imagine, <laughs> imagine what makes it sad for me. Like, all, all just aside, not to be serious, the fact that the kid didn't want to go makes me really upset. That does make me. Sad. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is like, you know what's oh, really man, sad about that? Oh, I the didn't saddest know thing that. about that. That sucks. The saddest thing. Yeah, the the kid was. So here's here's the thing that's that's really tragic about the kid. And he's the only. This is why he's the only person I feel bad about. Okay, this, so I didn't know scenario. that context. <laughs> uh, and I guess the families too, because obviously. But like, dude, like, so he, his father basically he was like, I don't want to go on this thing. He was like terrified to go on it, and his dad guilted him into doing it for Father's Day. <laughs> Which is like so oh fucked. My it's my one day a year. Son. I did not like, oh, know God, that context. Yeah, like imagine, 
imagine you knowing your gut that, that you're gonna, like, man, you're gonna I implode. <laughs> yeah, imagine knowing in your gut, like, dude, that's a Logitech controller. That is, I like, don't want bro, that. it's got one button, it's got a screen, it's got a fucking Lenovo monitor in it. <laughs> I don't want to be here. And your dad's like, come on, son. Quit being a pussy, son. For me, it's just the <laughs> deep sea. For me, for your old man. <laughs> God I'll, I'll buy damn, you dude, the, the latest Xbox that's not even out yet if you come with me. The one that's I'll in pre-order Starfield for you, son. <laughs> I'll pre- I'll no, like it's it's fucking <laughs> it's fucking it's so sad. I feel I feel really bad for the kid, but like yeah. I mean, yes. It all again, <laughs> did, again. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you sound like an I asshole. I sound like a fucking like monster at <laughs> the beginning. Yeah, you're a dick. That's fine. <laughs> well, yeah, because you guys didn't fucking mention that. Like, like I thought you knew. Well, I, thought, because, I thought it was obvious knowledge. That well, how is it obvious but, knowledge? I, I don't. I don't care. It's, okay. it's one of the. It's I one of the more recent revelations. This, to be to fair, be honest. I think it's funny. Like, fuck, like the whole really situation. It's f- it's sensational. It's, I understand, it's, it's, but as far as an actual story, yeah, I don't like. There's fuck shit like this happening all the time. That's that's, that's, you know what, I mean? you know that's what I was. You know that's crazy. You know what's really crazy? Those people from Palestine went missing, and no one's talking about that. It, it, that like that, both for the right, right. This is exactly. what I'm. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. There's and and by the way, I'll, I'll put it like this: We are inundated constantly with horrible stories from all over the fucking world. 24 7 all the time twitter is, is basically live leak right now there's always like some cat in a blender that's gonna fucking scroll by your fucking twitter feed or some fucking helicopter crash or some nonsense constant bad shit happening and we know about it all the time i think most people are at their core good people i think most people are empathetic but there's there's like a limit man like i only have so much that i can feel bad for everything bad happening. And so like when somebody when some kid going to math class in second grade gets his head exploded by some freak, I'm going to feel bad about that because he didn't do anything wrong. He's going to fucking math class. But when billionaires put together a <laughs> shoddy Ed and Nettie sub, go down to see the Titanic and implode, yeah, that's sad, but it's not I don't know, man. Like I got to I have to reserve the moments where I feel really bad for the people who genuinely didn't do anything wrong. So for me, right? Because yeah. there's so much shit going on all the time. How are you going to feel bad constantly? Right. So for me, can't right? do it. My assumption right. is that this was just people's negligence. What took those Pakistan people was oh, something top to bottom, dude. that was a creature. It was something different that we can't oh. deal with. And that's why no one's talking about it. It's and, something uh, that we're like, yo. And no look, one's also talking about it because can't it's like, reach not let's be real. That's a very old conflict, too, that is nonstop and is only getting worse. Which one? The fucking Middle Eastern just fucking, like, in, oh, the yeah, turmoil. Yeah, the, the, the conflict, in the, the turmoil in the Middle East. <laughs> I mean, like, it's a very broad thing to say, but, like, there's a lot it's of issues just... that, uh... <laughs> there's a, just, I don't need to get into it, but there's just a lot of things going on most, over there. The, the most hilarious understanding. There's a lot of issues. It's, it's, a lot of, it's so bad that we could talk about it for hours and not even really be that relevant on things that have happened. Like it's just, yeah. it's just a problem over there. The, yeah, a pro- yeah, did you hear yeah. about that duck? That did you hear about that duck that killed that entire bus? It just flew into a bus windshield and it moved. No, they they so I don't remember if it was I don't I don't think it's I don't think I don't think ISIS is around anymore. They, they, ISIS really fell off, Loki. But I think um, uh, I think it's like just some rogue. They they, they, stra- they strapped they strapped C four to a duck and the duck wandered into a bus and exploded the bus. God damn, man! Isn't that insane? That's some Gary's mod shit, bro. It is Gary's. Mind. I made that up, but like it sounds like it could happen. I mean, it Absolutely. could. I mean, people strap C4 like, to like everything. Dude, I'm sad. C4 should be in more in more video games. I feel I, it's weird to me that Halo doesn't have C4. Mm. Well, they have like, sweet grenades, doing? kind of the same thing. Got, right? Yeah, but it's they different. Like it's, it's that's way crazy. Yeah, but it's not. It's not the same. Like I, I want to stick something. I want to like th- stick something to the car, drive the car around, and then drive it into like somebody's. Face and then explode it on purpose. You know what I, mean? yeah. I want control of the detonation. Yeah, I understand. Because that's just fun, dude. In Battlefield and shit. Oh, yeah. Strap a bunch of C4 to an ATV and then just drive into somebody's house. <laughs> and blow, <laughs> blow it up. It's awesome. Someone's yeah. living room is fucking gone. It's like, I god damn it. Damn Revolution. It. I can't eat anymore. Where do I eat now? Wasn't there something? Did something video game related? Oh, the direct happened. Yeah, it was pretty cool. But there was not really. Uh, I, it, everything. I, 
everything looked cool, but like not enough to new Mario uh, game. We, um, more Pokemon. Yay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Super Mario RPG is cool. I've never actually played that one, so I'm actually oh, really? looking forward to playing it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I missed out. I, I, I missed out on too. a lot of. I missed out on a lot of Nintendo stuff because I I grew up with the NES, but then I moved straight from the NES to the PlayStation. Whoa! So like my SNES and N64 stuff, like I went, I, I experienced that like tangentially through like cousins' houses or like mm. shit like that. That's how I was with N64. Yeah, yeah, but SNES was. Like, I didn't get an N64 until. I, I didn't get the. I didn't get an N64 till like. Fucking 2012. Dude, I really? don't... Here's something really weird. I don't remember ever having an N64, but I just logged into my old Amazon account that I abandoned a long time ago. I started... Cause I lost the password or something else too. I don't know what happened, but I made a new account. I just logged into the old one and the first purchase... Because I've had Prime since like 2007. And the first purchase I made was Killer Instinct Gold. And I'm like, why the fuck did I buy this? I don't remember having a... I, I'm trying to rack my brain of when I had a fucking. Do you, do you guys remember your first Amazon purchase? Uh, yeah. I do now. I do because I actually remember mine. Like I don't have to go back and, I I, and look at it. I remember it. What was yours? Mine was uh, what you call it? it was a uh, Fire Emblem Awakenings in 2012. Mm. 2012. Yeah. That was that was my first one as well. Mm. I got, I got a limited edition. It was the first gaming headset I ever got. Like with like stereo sound, it was like a it was a Halo Four limited edition Turtle Beach headset, and it was the first person. It, it was like sixty, I think it was like seventy bucks, and I was like, I'm gonna buy. I need a headset because I needed to play video games really loudly in my room without waking my parents up. <laughs> Good old Turtle Beach. I haven't had. I haven't used uh, any of their products in a long time. I mean, a, yeah, that's ancient. This, yeah. <laughs> this, this is Steel Series. I was like, is this Turtle Beach? I was like, there's no way it's working in this Turtle Beach. There's no <laughs> way it's working. In this. <laughs> Dude, there was a point where Turtle Beach was like, to like, oh, like yeah. Turtle Beach was like it for like a hot for like 100%. a year or two. Yeah, for like oh seven, oh seven to like oh nine, bro. No, it was longer than it was like a flash in the pan. I think it might have been. It, it was like I feel like it wasn't oh seven, was it? I think I think, like I think uh, later than that because I remember. Yeah, I, I feel like it was like ten to thirteen, maybe. I remember twenty ten or twenty eleven. Um, I bought some guys uh, uh, modded uh, Xbox uh, Elite or whatever. Their thing, yeah. and it came with like he just threw in these expensive ass Turtle Beach ones that you know, and I was like, it was pretty good. I was actually pretty impressed with it at the time. Uh, yeah, at the time that shit was amazing. Like I couldn't, I couldn't believe how much, how good that shit was. I was like, crazy. this is, I can't believe I'm hearing all of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, <laughs> it's hilarious it was like <laughs> if, if you look at it now. Floor. Yeah, it's like pl it's, it's it's like the cheapest plastic in the world. Remember Skull it's, Candies? It's so... Remember Skull Candies were coming up when everybody was getting Skull Candies? Like, you don't have Skull Candies? It's like, no. I, I, you know, to Skull Candies credit, I actually like Skull Candies. Like, the actual, the actual headphones? Some of the, some of them the are wireless good. ones? Um, they're like pretty good. At least, was, it's been years that, since I've had it, though. There's a $30 one. I forget um, what they're called. Uh, but they were some of the best sound. For the price, it was, there was nothing even close to it. And one thing that I still vouch for, just if you're a bass heavy person, now there's headphones that you can just completely control the EQ, which is better. But this one, they're called the Crusher, Crusher Wireless, that has a bass slider. So literally just cranking the bass like that, yeah. just 10% is already enough. <laughs> and it could go up another 90%, which is insane. So it, yeah, uh, yeah. I actually. I think I had those. I, I heard about those. I think, wait, 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 what were they called? A Crusher. So the school Dude, I went through uh, there was a period of time where I went through so many headphones because I kept losing them. Yeah. So I just And they were expensive headphones. <laughs> like they weren't like they weren't fucking cheap. I would like fucking I would come home from like a long day of doing something and then I'd be like fuck. I don't I I I had my headphones and now I don't. And then I would just buy a new and it would be a new one. I I would try something else instead of getting the same one again. So like I had like I went through a lot of a lot of different ones. I, feel I had like the Skull Candies for a little bit. I had the Crushers. And then I had um, I had two Sony ones. I, I still have the Sony one. I've had the Sony one for like, I think it's like the MX some. Sony's pretty know, good. I like they have some good headphones too, for sure. I just have AirPods, and I even use them anymore. Oh, fucking That's AirPods. It. That's crazy. I don't even know if they're actually good or not. I've, they're it, fine. The, the price is insane to where I've never. I would never. How much get are them. they now? Like a hundred, right? Whatever they are, they're not worth it. I'll tell you that. I mean uh, that's just that's I mean that's really Apple products in general, right? They're just you get the price You get Raycons for half the price. No, 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 no. no. They didn't. They didn't sponsor. They didn't sponsor us, man. 
and oh, they, yeah. they fuck, fuck Ray J. The funny thing is though, I I have a bunch of them because <laughs> I would always yeah me too. <laughs> I gotta say too. I gotta say though, like uh, over the years, you don't, no, you don't, you don't. No, I'm they're not, not paying I'm, us. They're over the, they're not paying us. Yeah, I'm just saying over the years. After I'm like, oh, at least... Raycon is not paying us. <laughs> At least they fucking uh, actually. Well, fuck them because they dropped me from my main channel. I uh, actually, uh, but it's not okay. To be fair, I pretty much abandoned that channel. So they're like, "Hey, uh, you're not really getting views anymore." <laughs> they're like, "We don't want to pay you the same price." And I was like, "Ah, yeah, I get it. Fuck off." I'm guys. like, "So, yeah, so? Yeah. you better keep paying me." Yeah, I like or else. It's yeah, it's right. I, I just yeah, I I do. To be fair, like I don't know. I'm not an ear. I'm not an earbud. Person, I'm, I generally I, like I really I, I prefer headphones, pretty much ninety percent of the time. The only situation, like in my entire life, I was headphones, a, a headphone person, like the entire time. Um, even even back when the headphones were like really dinky and small, and it was just like a hell yeah, like, oh my god, like, like I, bought flat, some, pe- yes. I bought some retro. A, it was ones, like a, dude. it was like a flat piece of plastic with like a pad that would like sit yeah. on. I your bought ears. some retro Bluetooth ones. They look exactly they're the same design, but they're Bluetooth. Because I was like, oh, throwback. That's, that's, that's awesome. I love that. Because it's just they throwback, hurt. man. It's nostalgia. That's true. It is good. I, I would, I would, in fairness, buy like a Bluetooth speaker that's just a boombox. Hell yeah, dude. You know what I mean? I yeah. Like just for the aesthetic. Because boomboxes yeah. are fucking dope and I'm sad that they're gone. Oh, man. I love, my mom bought me this one that was, damn, the, this, the fucking, the EQ on it was so good. It, it was fucking ridiculous. It, 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 that, it was my favorite. I've never had a. I wish I knew what the model was. I don't even remember what brand it was because I was I was fucking. It came out like in. My mom bought it for me in like '95 or something like that. So yeah, yeah. You know, so like I don't fucking remember which one it was, but damn, I blasted that shit, fucking until it died. It it, it, it was man. Whatever. I'm not gonna remember. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Yeah. Maybe it was Sony. I don't know. I'll look into it. I'll look into yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I I. I Typically prefer headphones over earbuds, but one hundred percent, they're not sponsoring. They should be though, mother. But Raycons are are pretty fucking pretty Raycon. decent. I, I like they them. Should actually. be. I have actually. I do, uh, I do use them. I have their headphones because I made them give them to me. I was like, well, I made them give. They they discontinued one brand that uh, had um like a you know the noise cancellation shit, and then I was like, give me another one. They're like, we don't have any more. I'm like, well, fucking give me your new thing, you stupid. Yeah, yeah. And then, I, I'm kind. Look, I gotta be like, I I I, I like them. I like the company. Uh, give me, give me a headphone that I can do something with. You, you know, like I, I've Get already done so much with the with the earbuds. Yeah. Like I don't, I'm running out of things I can do bro, bro. and say just, with the, with just, these exact. Just things. send an email. That's what I literally just said. Hey, give me these. Yeah, and then they just did it, and and I okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do yeah. it. Yeah, and anyway, yeah, they're, they're pretty hot. They're pretty hot, man. Now, since we even talked about it at all, I'm gonna clip this and be like, hey, uh, you guys gotta pay us. Either, uh, or, just, or, or like you know how movies or like in shows where it's really in TV, television shows when they blur out products because that product didn't want to pay, so that's what we're gonna have to do right here. Yeah, like in this whole segment, just, just be like, hey, he just cut it, yeah. cut it entirely. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. Uh, well, I don't know. Is anything else happening that we? I mean, we can get the questions. There's, there's a couple of things. But... Wait, 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 wait. Didn't didn't you say something? Something was someone was fighting someone or something? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? So, uh. I can't believe this is actually real uh, a serious talks happening but um I don't I don't know how it started but Elon Musk said he would fight uh Mark Zuckerberg in MMA style and uh Mark Zuckerberg responded by saying send me location which is a um a reference to Habib Nurmagomedov he used to be a UFC champion who said that that's one of his uh, taglines, semi location. So Dana White, head of UFC, the president of UFC, of talked to them, and apparently they're very serious about it. Now, here's the thing I know Mark Zuckerberg would be serious about this because he's been training MMA for years, he's been doing uh, uh, competing in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So he's Mark actually, Zuckerberg actually is dangerous. Yeah. I mean, like, if you're. If you if you have like this was the best thing for him to do to humanize himself. He tried hey. so hard to do other things and it just didn't work, but it's like all right, fighting is one of the most basic things, right? It's this it, it really grounded him to the point where it gained a lot of people gain, it, people actually kind of respect him now. They're making way less android things and I want people to stop losing sight of that. 
that he's a reptilian droid. Because that, just make no mistake. <laughs> it, make Humanized no mistake. Him. He's, he's, he is still an alien. He's still a robot alien. <laughs> he's like something. I bet and, he hits crazy hard. It, that's the thing. We're, I was trying to figure out who would win, hard. and there was people saying, "Well, he probably has uh, metallic bones like fucking Wolverine, so he's gonna like hit you or kick you. It's gonna hurt a lot, even blocking." But that's then I was true. saying, "That's true." Elon Musk has a <laughs> massively deformed chest. That say, if Elon just gets lucky and shoots one takedown like a double leg. He'll crush Zuckerberg. I think there will be enough force where he'll just crush him and he'll die instantly. It'll be like an implosion of of fucking Titanic <laughs> levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm actually interested in seeing this fight. I hope one person. Yeah, it'll dies. be it'll be something. I hope one person dies. Just one person needs to die. I mean, I, one hell of I a that'll be a hell of a creator class. I want. I'll tell you this: if this, I can't. I can't imagine this actually happening just because Elon Musk is full of shit and uh, there's no way he would actually step in. The cage with I I know Zuckerberg would do it. That guy's gone to multiple UFC events. He's obsessed with this shit. He's finally found something that works for him, right? Like, oh, I'm a human now. Hey, people are not being weird to me. A bunch of fighters are weird of <laughs> themselves. You know, like they're like insane to be training that much and shit. They're all crazy. Yeah. So they're, they're all fucking just not aura is entirely. Yeah. Human. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> so the aura is wrong. Your aura, you, you, your aura feels like a nighttime and it's broad day. I don't like this. You scare me. <laughs> I I just hopefully it happens. I want it to happen so badly because I just want Elon Musk to just get his ass whooped so hard for just. I want, him, I want, someone, to, I want someone to die in a ring, man. He he is. I just can't. It's so weird, but I know I know what's happening with Musk. I understand that he is uh, he's uh, on the spectrum, and he's trying so hard to socially. I think that's like actually true, and uh, he's trying so hard to fit in to where before people. Um, that were like environmentalists and stuff like that. They saw him as cool, and he was doing the right thing and all this shit. Stuff started 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 going wayward, right? And then he turned to the one audience that you can do anything you want, and people will never abandon you. They'll so he, you no matter what. Yeah, like the, he he saw that, especially ahead of like some allegations that were happening where he assaulted some people and said, "Hey." I'll give you a horse or some shit, like, if True. you don't say anything, whatever, all that allegations that were happening. So he, he was just saying, oh, they're trying to attack me because I'm conservative, where he's never been conservative before, but then he just, you know, jumped on that thing. Um, I understand why he's doing it. I get it. However, he has absolutely ruined Twitter. Twitter sucks so bad now, the it's way that it operates. It's definitely less fun than it used to be. It's, a fu it's, it's such a mess, especially the... <laughs> Like the amount of remember when he was crying about bots, uh, yeah. I yeah. my DMs are open because I just you know they just go to the request section right. If somebody, yeah, me too. Yeah, and dude, so many bots, so many Japanese like so uh, or, many. Or like, really? so, I literally yeah, yeah. got like one or two bots a year before, if that, and now it's weekly. Yeah, it's it's daily for me, dude. Like <laughs> like the, the message the message requests are just full of bots now. Like it is, I, I used to have it open, and maybe you'd get like once a year, you'd get like uh, some bot talking about OnlyFans, like this this creator showing her pussy on on <laughs> on this website. And I, I I used to I used to like message back. I used to be like, no way, really, <laughs> and then I would just like not respond. But <laughs> no now way. it's like literally. Hold on, let me. I wonder if I can. Let me let me see my Twitter right now. No, it's really? it's honestly like fucked. Yeah. Message request one one new request. Yeah, there's like dozens today, <laughs> and it's all like Japanese. Shit. A lot of or, them or are like Japanese, the, yeah, yeah, or like Korean or, so, or something. It's like some, some kind of Asian language, language, language that I can't quite define. I don't. A lot of, uh, of OnlyFans links. Yeah, I don't have any of that. I get like I get emails from fans. That's about it. Or emails, messages from fans. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't sounds know, like it's, you have some favor he, from he, he Musk. Fucked, he fucked everything up. It's totally fucked. Like, just the amount of people that are working on it that the, essentially the people that couldn't leave that have work visas are left. They're the ones that are actually left working for him. And they're probably working to death. They're going to die pretty soon anyway. You know, they, they left their countries to work in a better environment. And now they're essentially 
<laughs> they're working in the same conditions. Hey man, it's to just... be like that, bro. It's not my fault. Born yeah, in America. It's honestly, it's honestly it's just so, so insane. Wild. So I really, I really man. want him to just get his jaw. I want his jaw to implode. I want his jaw to just, just turn into that makeshift fucking submarine thing. And so, uh, I, I, I would, I, I would, I would. Nothing would make me happier than let's uh. Let's move on to some questions. Oh, well, we can do that. Uh, we can do that because I was just going to go hard in the paint on uh, wanting that nigga second, to one, die. One, one sec. I have to re- have to use the bathroom. One sec. One sec. One sec. Okay. Look at, look okay. At, oh, this is good. Go. This will be the break anyway that I want to put. Look at this him. fucking this Howdy. dopey nigga. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. This fucking All right. Let's start Star with the questions. Wars geek ass nigga. Uh, go ahead. Fuck you. You don't know me. <clears throat> Beto Mimito wrote in. Nice. He goes, hello there, Chris Railgun, Tommy, Swe- Tommy, Tommy Gun Sweeney, and some Glock guy. Nice. First time ever on the question thread, although it isn't really a question. I believe the Mexican mask that Derek showed in a previous episode was of Memin Penguin, a semi-popular Mexican comic book character from back in the day. Look it up and perhaps have a chuckle. Oh, wow. I took, I took, the, liberty, I took the liberty of Googling this for you. Here it is in the chat. It is... Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's uh, that looks right. That lo- <laughs> that looks that looks pretty You've accurate. Gotta be kidding. You've got to be kidding me, bro. Yeah, it's it's a real little. I'm it's a easily a little character. Shit. I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> I mean, Yolanda Vargas Dolce. So you got to whoop her ass. Oh wait, she's dead. I hate it. I hate she's it, dead. Bro. She's dead. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, I mean, she, I she, she may not be dead. Actually, of his racial issues. She may not be dead. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so in nineteen, oh my god! In in nineteen eighty eight, when I was born, it was re edited, colorized, and in two thousand four, re edited again. Dude, fuck! They fucking they Mexican fuck with bro. this thing heavy. They fuck with this guy heavy, man. Mexican, man while, while look under racial issues, it says while well, Mamin suffers a degree of racist taunting. Especially in the first issues, the characters mocking him are depicted as either cruel or ignorant. As the story progresses, his race becomes less of an issue. Uh, except all right, for the whole, you know, does it really? Uh, except, for the whole, yeah. except for the whole, except for the whole, him the being just a black dude, face character. Black face and there's mammy. Like what the fuck, dude? I hate it so <laughs> much, crazy. bro. I hate it. In one famous issue, Memin, uh, having read uh, that Cleopatra the seventh of Egypt took milk baths, milk baths to lighten her skin, tries the same treatment. Oh, my God. His mother weeps with sorrow that her son would want to change his skin color. A repentant M- Mimin decides to be proud of his race and color and honor his good mother. They really tried to make this like a <laughs> like a positive thing. Yeah, dude. <laughs> at, a, at a certain point. Just uh, can't really come back from that In face. another... <laughs> And another Mameen decides not to receive the communion at his church after a cruel boy tells him blacks are not allowed in heaven. Oh, my God. What is this, Mormonism? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. golly. Anyway, I just wanted to shed some light on that. I thought that was Pretty uh, cool, man. Interesting. Pretty cool. <laughs> is the writer like a black Mexican, at least? I'm sure I'm sure they're not. Uh, you. I mean... I feel I'm like if you're sure. a black Let's... person, you probably wouldn't make your, your main character... Black Yolanda face. Vargas. Who is this person? Are there pictures? No pictures. Mm, there should be. It's not the best. Not the best sign. Yolanda Vargas uh, Dolce. Yeah, there's no fucking images. Oh, uh, no. Like, if you Mexican writer. Oh, she's, she's definitely she not. She is literally Spanish, bro. <laughs> like, just, yeah, she's, she's, <laughs> she's not black at all. She is. Nice. She is. She's as black as the golden bro, girls. Bro, she's fucking, yeah. She, she's... <laughs> She's fucking Lucille Ball, dude. Like, fuck, man. She's as black as the Golden Girls. That is the most off-handed I've ever heard in my fucking life. I mean, it's I, she. I mean, this is just a sp- old Spanish woman, man. Um, imagine being her kids and like, man, <laughs> you have a lot of money <laughs> because because you're the descendant of somebody who created like this really really popular character. But like, everybody asks like, how'd you get your money? And they're like, we'd rather not say. <laughs> yeah, we just, just, uh, just we. Like she, she, yeah, we, the, she's one hundred percent like Dolce. That is a Spanish. That is a one hundred percent. Just looking at her, her family just fucked their way to Mexico. That's like the, the, just looking at her. Like she yeah, is crazy, as European white as it as it gets. There's there. Oh, no, she's she's Mexican. 
Uh, she's probably. not. She seems more. She uh, seems more Spanish. She seems, definitely more. She definitely is Spaniard as well, but she's Mexican. I mean, she's Mexican in the sense that she's a Spanish woman living in Mexico. <laughs> that's what I. That's like. But I, I don't know if she's she's not Lily, you know. Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. Lily is fucking just. She, she she was literally could have fought at fucking John Smith versus the you know who's she's, that fat motherfucker in uh in the the the, the main villain. Like I she would have been in the one. Definitely, she's definitely Native American Mexican. Yeah. She's in, savage. in what movie? Savages. <laughs> savages and like they're getting ready to fight, and then Lily's there, like getting her fucking bow ready and shit. <laughs> her bow ready. <laughs> they're not like you I and me. That, that means they can't be trusted. And she's like, "We must sound the drums of war." And she's fucking just like banging on the drums and shit. And then, of course, you know, she unfortunately she gets what movie is shot this? in the face by John Smith. What movie is this? What are you talking um, about? Pocahontas, man. Fuck a what? Shut the fuck up. Of course, it's called Honest. Of course, you're too much watching Spider Man fucking two for the 31st time instead of watching anything other than that. Of course, you haven't seen Pocahontas. It's insane. What is that? Yo, I fucking went to the gym the other day, and of course, Spider Man 2. Literally, <laughs> as soon as I walk in, the power of the sun in the palm of my hands. And I'm like, oh, oh. And uh, I wasn't fast enough. I was running on the treadmill, and I wanted to record. The fucking laugh, you know. And there, you serious? And I just, I just wasn't quick enough. I was <laughs> so serious? mad. I was so fucking angry. I was about to. Wa- just, you should, you should, you should. Is this in the gym? Mm-hmm. You should, you should ask them to rewind it a little I, bit. I, the, I thought about it. You I legitimately in the front guy. of the gym. There is, uh, it's hooked. It's, it's insane. The front of the gym is hooked up to this little small piece of shit thing i can't i shit you not i don't know what the wiring is so long because the cinema room is a good like 30 feet from the front and then deep yeah and so the projector is wired like a lot of wires all the way to the front desk where there's this little bitch ass dvd player like literally i just grab and smash it and i could have just like hey could you guys just like just 20 seconds just just good 20 seconds and then just run right back in there because uh i think it would have been a really nice uh, uh, it would have been a nice video of me running on the treadmill, nice darkened thing, and just seeing you know one of the greatest movies of all time being played. Greatest movies of all time. <laughs> I think it, I, I think it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It, yeah, it definitely had the best play v- favorite. It's it's a top one, top and they didn't even play a. Uh, and 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 here's something that's interesting: they didn't even play Spider Man one. They, they, the, the movie, because they, they have their uh, their schedule, they played Miss Congeniality 1 and 2 or whatever, and then went to Spider-Man 2, which just shows you that whoever made this shit just knows it's a, the superior film. You know what's crazy? A lot of comic book fans like Spider-Man 1 more, and a lot of movie fans like Spider-Man 2 more. I think yeah, I, mean, that makes I sense personally it. like Spider-Man 2 more, but I think Willem Dafoe is better... Than any aspect of Spider Man Two, mm. but I do like Spider Man Two more as a movie, though. That that is interesting because like, I I do agree. With, I love Willem Dafoe. He's so he's so that... per- like Alfred Molina is amazing. I'll never take that from him ever. And Aunt May was really good in that movie too. She doesn't get enough credit. That sweet the, the speech he has with Peter at the middle at when they're at like in front of the house and little kid is it's a good movie. Shit. Yeah, fantastic speech. I lo- it's a good movie. I saw credit. you know yeah it's it's interesting. Because uh, I saw I saw Across the Spider Verse again, and I like it more. I think I can. I like it more now that I've seen it again, and now that the ending oh, isn't yeah. jarring as fuck. Oh, that's good. I, think, I, I think was like, okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna go see it in the deep box. Better parts, but yeah, yeah. So, I so now I agree that Spider Man Two is legendary, though. It's a great movie. It's great. I, I do agree that Willem Dafoe is amazing. He's yeah. so good. Uh, but I think the th- the th- uh, the thing that uh, impresses me about Alfred Molina as Doctor Octopus is that Doctor Octopus sucks before that movie. That's true. Like, he just sucks. Yeah. Like, he's not interesting. In, in the fucking show, he's like this German nerd with a fucking bowl cut who's jacked for <laughs> Dude, some reason. He's, he's it makes so no good. fucking sense. Rocky, so good. Bro. Yeah, and even Rocky in that world. Everyone is jacked true. except for Flash. Flash is like a normal <laughs> build. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's honestly crazy, but like fucking... And Harry. Harry's not jacked. Yeah, which is his even, fucking even, waves, even just, dude. That motherfucker is always, just always fucking brushing his hair. But but, dude, even even just the fucking <laughs> like, just just what he do, like what he does and who he is and and his his ability set, just like the, the design of the tentacles in every single iteration of like Spider Man before that movie, just is so 
by the numbers and and fucking lame. I think they're fine. And like, but they're fine. But the, I, they're but fine. The movie but like, it's a, it's it simplifies like a, it. It does. He well, he becomes a, he's like a joke villain a lot. In, in like, he's important, of course, because he's like he's got he's got like some important iconography. But like, he's he's really a lame villain. Yeah. And then that movie comes out, and it's. The fucking dopest shit. Like, the tentacles look menacing and fucking dope as hell. It's my favorite tentacle design, easily. Like, still to this yeah, day. It's like, it's it's such a it's good design for Dr. Octopus. Have you seen Slither? James Gunn's... Is that James Gunn's movie? James Gunn did do Slither, yeah. Oh, shit. The tentacles in that movie are insane as well, too. Like, that movie made me almost want to vomit a few times. <laughs> yeah, but, like... <laughs> but, yeah, no, I, I, I think you're probably right. I, I, I like... Uh, I don't know. It would have been cool to see. I would love to watch Spider-Man 2 in a gym. Yeah. I couldn't. It's fucking ridiculous. I couldn't because I would find myself stopping laughing and then watching. And I'd be like, I can't do this. <laughs> you can't watch anything you really enjoy at a gym because it will derail your fucking workout. Like, you really enjoy Unless you're running. Yeah, that's because like, that's what I mean. In, in, in the cinema room, it's just it's um, only audio equipment. Sorry, yeah. car, cardio audio. It's uh, just cardio. audio. You just hear the movies. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're it's done just the cinema. You walk in there, you just get <laughs> yeah, yeah. from everywhere. Just... <laughs> That'd be kind of dope, actually. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, but yeah, I do think I do think now that I've seen Spider Verse, Spider across the Spider Verse again, I think it is. I think it is my new favorite one. It's. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. But I, I have to do it. To do, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually ask JoJo if she wants to do the D box thing because it's better the second time. There's, actually, there's like so I, much... I think the first time is weird because you don't expect how it ends, right. and now it, like once you expect it, it's like, oh, okay, this is yeah. okay. I also no, had I some this. fucked up audio in the first like ten minutes too. So I did. Yeah, yeah, that. I did. I noticed that too. Like when I saw it, like the first ten minutes, like you couldn't really hear yeah. them. Yeah. Did you see it in town? And it was. You saw it in our town. Yeah, I right? saw it in the. I saw it in the the Burbank Town Center, the, the, the big, big theater. Yeah, I didn't see. We did, we, see, we go to the one. Around. I saw it in IMAX. Oh, I didn't experience that. Me and um. Yeah, I mean, maybe I think it was like it. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, because I, anyway, we, we I did ask smaller about theaters that. though. We saw it in a smaller theater. That mm. might have been the thing as well. It's probably a better way to see it. Yeah, that's a, um. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try that D box where it's like it, it it shakes and there's interactions. It's like seeing fucking uh, Honey I Shrunk the Kids in Disneyland or whatever the fuck. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. I remember that. That's yeah, a really long shit? time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy damn. All right. All right, let's uh let's move on. Yeah. Uh, Commander and Queef nice. wrote in. Says hello nice. boys. Long time listener, first time question asker. Welcome. Oh, well, so nigga. If you guys put if you guys put a secret boss encounter in any game, who would it be and why? For example, I'd put Chris Chan in a Souls game. I would absolutely put Jesus Christ in Elden Ring. You know what put in, you know what put Hell in yeah, game? Dude. I'd put Joel <laughs> randomly somewhere in a Red Dead two. Joel? <laughs> yeah. As a as a boss, as a boss fight. <laughs> There's no boss battles in that game, yeah, and the, the only know, boss battle I in the know. game is Joel. It'd be like, love it. what the fuck? He has a life huge bar, huge fucking life bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, He's like, like Ellie, and then it starts. <laughs> He's fucking wallet. Where's bro. Ellie? What did you do with her? And you're like, I don't know what you' talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. <laughs> whoa, 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 Mister. Uh, uh, what's now, Joel's slowed, last name? Um, slow down here, uh, Rifkin. No, what's Joel's last name? No, it's a serial killer. <laughs> Wait, uh, Joel... Um, McKenzie? I, don't, I have no idea. Miller. Miller. It, it is Miller. Miller. Yeah. It is like, Miller. Well, listen here, Mr. Miller. I ain't done nothing wrong to you know that damn girl. You say he's infected with what? <laughs> the yeah, law fucking... man sent me to come and get you. What's the name of the guy that sends you to get the loans? Um, oh, uh, oh, Strauss. Str- is it Strauss? Look Strauss, is the, Strauss is the loan guy, right? Yeah, I'm pretty like, sure Strauss here. is the loan guy. I came here looking for some loan. The German guy. And he's like, <laughs> that would be such a great encounter of Joel talking to fucking Arthur Morgan. Yeah. No, <laughs> your brain is I fucking just, yeah, rotted, how the fuck man. Did he get there? Your brain. <laughs> your brain. I don't, know, I don't care. I don't no, give a shit. No, this is this is this. See, this is your brain on for, on Fortnite. You don't care. It doesn't, ma- <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter yeah, what makes sense. Matter. You just you just does, want fucking. You just want Arthur That's Morgan point, to talk to Joel because you see fucking. Uh, you see Miles Morales doing the gritty on fucking sexy Garfield or whatever in the middle of fucking Loot Lake. Sexy Garfield. And that's like that's your brain now. No, dude. That's your brain. It's fucking ruined. Things like that, man. You gotta have oh, you gotta man. have Joel Osteen in the middle of fucking Joel Osteen. <laughs> Joel Osteen in the middle of Dead Space. Every Joel, just, just, just every Joel, Joel. into the Joel universe. Yeah, <laughs> you just have fucking Joel Haver, fucking Joel Haver, Joel Miller, and Joel Osteen. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> in, All in like together. a fucking Destiny Fire team. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. That, that's a team right there. That's a team, man. That'd be <laughs> early. I'm sad that there is no like I, I no I would put Jesus Christ in in God of War though I think that I, I think like I feel like it's oh, it, it's time so 
I want I want the Judeo Christian pantheon so badly. I know B would get so fucking offended, but fuck them, dude. In Souls <laughs> like, no. No, 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 no. In God of War. Yeah, it's time for him to move on. The the fucking the nine realms were destroyed uh, of Midgar uh, of uh, the Norse mythology. I think I think it would just be more. Fun. I want I it, want Kratos be... to I want I want Kratos to cyber bully Muhammad. <laughs> the, thing, the, thing, the thing is this, right? The Christian you fucking Judeo send gods, it. they're not interesting. <laughs> They're not yeah, they're they're really beings, not. Yeah, you know, like they're just almighty people. They're just almighty beings, opposed to like Ra, Atman, Rat, um, freaking what you call it. If all of that, yeah, that's just it's too easy though. Gods. It's why they didn't even go there right away because it was too easy. I don't think. I wonder what, how they're gonna continue it. Because uh, I, I, I almost feel like I don't think you know what I don't you know what I actually think. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're gonna go to Egypt, but I do think it's going to. I do think it's going to play a part in it. I think what's going to happen is because Kratos is clearly on like a, a different path now, so he I don't think he's going to go seek these things out. But I think word is going to spread of him, yeah, of him. And then I think all like I think th what's next is all the other pantheons are going to come looking come to fucking wherever they're he like is. Threatened, so like, oh, we got fuck this. Yeah, they're just up. like he's gonna if if we don't stop this dude, he's going to come for us eventually. So let's just fucking let's just fucking get him. Look, I think that's really what's good because you can't have Kratos go seek that shit out anymore because it, it it destroys the whole purpose kind of, of the arc anymore, that he's on. Yeah. He's not that person, so like you have to have like an inv like Ra and like fucking all these other guys. not even just Egyptian, but like every other pantheon think, that you can I find. I think Egyptian is the next best bet, man. You know what I want? I mean, I think I think was... it's part of the next best bet, but I do, I think I think you're gonna have Japan. It's a I think you're gonna conclusion. have fucking Egypt. I think you're gonna have a lot of shit mixed in no. because. That seems like it. I I don't know what where else you go. He can't go seek this this shit out he anymore. Can't. Yeah. And a trace can't do out of the story now. I don't like that trace left the story because he was supposed to be the next character to be, take on that story. But like well, well, he's probably they're probably gonna say, you know what it is they're probably gonna make a trace game. Yeah, they're yeah. they're gonna make and I it hope sucks. that they. I I don't mind a trace. I know we are like talking about this. And uh, I I imagine though like. also he'll become more brutal as he gets older. You know. Yeah. Um. I wouldn't mind in a trace game. I would. I, I just like. I think he's. I, I personally think he's a little pussy twink. The thing, the thing, he's <laughs> but... a child. Chill. But, but he's a kid, of course. The thing is, I mean, that I... trace is not gonna be. He's not gonna be quite as brutal, but he's gonna have to be more conniving. I think uh, eventually, it just yeah. you know, like once he's like really gotten his man strength too. Where he can actually brutalize people to where when Kratos was a little bitch ass kid, he wasn't brutalizing people either. Yeah, he was. In no. God of War One, they show scenes of he him wasn't beating a kid. the fuck he out of little a kid. baby. He was kids. already he was already a full grown adult with a family and a kid. No, but they they show like flashbacks of him as a little kid. Fucking, he wasn't. He doesn't have. He, was, he, was, he was fighting yeah, other right. kids. There's, he wasn't there's, disemboweling there's and ripping them apart. Yeah. There, no, there's a flashback in God of War One of Kratos as a kid fucking a, a frog <laughs> in the mouth. Hard. <laughs> 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 Thrusting, uh, bro. Uh, I love. I man, I miss T C uh, Carson. Man, I miss T C Carson's voice. He goes in a Spartan rage and he busts inside a frog. He's still and, saying he sounds. <laughs> he, sa he sounds Ares! like Christopher Judge still. Ares, <laughs> I'm coming in this frog. Destroy my enemies. You can't escape me. Ares, <laughs> <laughs> I'll Bro, follow he... you to the ends of the earth. Dude, that's good AI. Dude, holy shit. I yeah. you know what's, what's doing that scene that in other people's is voices is kind of fault. awesome. Isn't that yeah, crazy? Yeah. This is all what? Ares' fault. Like all those motherfuckers dying is Ares' fault. Like well, all you know, of it is his hold fault. on, hold on. It not necessarily. You no know whose fault it really is. Zeus is technically yes, but it, it's them niggas for lying to Kratos. They lie. They literally lied to him. They said, "Now look at now." Kratos has to take some fault because he's an idiot because they kept saying, "Do this for us." And will forgive your your sins. Where he's saying, "Will you will you destroy my memories? I want to be really for my memories." They say, "We'll forgive you." They never agreed to say yes. We'll, we'll they never actually agreed to it. So the entire time they misled him, right? And then uh, and then fucking Athena says after he does the final task of killing Ares, then he's just like, "I'm gonna kill myself. Fuck you guys." And they're like, "Okay, we'll make you god of war." And like, what did you think was gonna happen? His he all he wanted to do was just relax and chill. 
And then they just fucking. <laughs> That's true. It, it is crazy. <laughs> he just he just literally was like, "Hey man, this is a painful memory. Can I just not have this so I could just like chill?" And they're like, "No." And they were like, "No." And then, and then he, he just destroyed came. everything. <laughs> He destroyed everything. It's it's uh, that's fucking wild. It's like the amount now, of imagine people. imagine you like yeah. Imagine imagine that that's like being like if you tip a waiter like really poorly and then they destroy the universe. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that is so crazy. That's a it's pretty good premise because, though. Like, I like it's that because like in his destroying of all of that pantheon. You know how many people he may lose their children and lose their loved ones and lose their like I think I think based on what they say is that there's like realms and there's like all there's several earths. That whole realm is gone now. Like there's no one there anymore. Here's the it thing. That's there's not, there's, not, the there's, thing. Not, there's not several That's earths. That's what though. it should be, but then they canonically confirm that it's all the same earth which makes zero sense. What do you mean? Because the gods, there was never, the only, the gods didn't, it's just like how it is right now in modern religions. They're not gods of just a specific region. They think this god rules over the fucking universe, everything. And so, and then they also travel across the world and try to, you know, spread the gospel and all this shit. And so it's kind of silly to just think that, oh, I only destroyed Greece. Greece was when the sun was blotted out with uh with uh, no, Apollo being realm. dead. It destroyed its own realm. That, that's that realm what would no, make sense. It's not sense. a realm. It's it's one it's one planet. It would no, make sense if that's what happened. Yeah, it no, is. They they confirmed, they confirmed this. that's that it's true. the same fucking planet. That's stupid. That's why that's why that's exactly. why Kratos was able to. That's exactly. why Cable, Kratos was able to go to go to uh, fucking I, well, well, yes, Norway. But that, it wouldn't make it wouldn't be impossible for a god to go from realm to the different realms. No, like you you go from different realms. I agree with you. It would make more sense. I actually disagree. I think it's I think it's dope as hell that they share the same planet. It doesn't make well, any sense though. How is it? None of it makes it's, sense. It's it doesn't one, matter. Well, no. I think it's just cool. It's just he when out the sun he destroyed it's the poor. Ocean. It's lazy retconning. It's just where, how come there's it is there's lazy. No it, it is lazy. But I, I like titans? I like the idea. About, I like the idea that you can. I like the idea that you can wander into different. Into different places that are under the domain of different pantheons. It's, I like that idea. I don't like that re regions of heaven and hell. Uh, no, heaven and hell is regional to this specific location. Like you I can't get to hell wander. or you can't get to Asgard if you live in fucking Greece. You go to Tartarus or you go to Olympic. Like Olymp. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. It is. It, it's, it's. I so like dumb. it though because it's just it's video gaming. I like, it's, it's exactly. It's, it's just it's, a complete it, retcon. It's the only. It's it the only element. It's the only element of the new God of Wars that feels. Truly, like a video game. It's just a complete retcon. Like it never, it was never like that. And then they're of like, "Of course not." Of, no, but that's of course why not. it's so yeah. dumb. It's the like it's just yeah, but it's. I mean, the whole thing is not. I mean, we treat God of War like it's high art. It's it's not. Thing, it's, it's, it's just it's, it's just not, really it's well done. It's not high art. It's not meant to be. No, it, it's me, it's not. It just could have easily been like, oh, these are different realms, and then it would have been like, okay, I, I'll believe that. That's fine. You you literally. I think I think, I think different realm realms is like in the game. I don't you know. Do it's, all the I, game. You literally do it in the North Pantheon. So why can't you do that? Yeah. Like, it just makes sense. Yeah, I mean it's it's like, fine. These are know. all it's... versions of Earth slash Midgar, and you can walk mistakenly stumble, especially a deity can stumble from side realm to side realm. You know, sometimes in different realms, a god might be one god here, and he might be the same god in a different realm. That makes no, sense. Like that, that makes sense exactly. That makes it, sense. That's how things. They that's just how deities work. They went with the path that made least sense. That's why. That's. The I don't thing. think it's meant to be. I don't know. It's it's kind of like Bioshock, where like uh, people take Bioshock very very literally. Where it's like Bioshock is literally like an entirely metaphorical game. Like you're not, it's it's not about like you, you're not literally like doing anything to little sisters or anything. Like that's the, it's not really the point. I, I of Bioshock. I get what you mean, but like, I, this is still a story, you know. This yeah, I don't know how you extrapolate that to God of War. I understand. Not really. I don't. Know no, but what I'm saying is like I don't think it's. There are things that bioshock for example like you see you see um a city under the water literally not that's not possible that's fine why why is because that because there was nothing being retcon it's not like it's just a thing that existed oh, so your issue is the retcon not the idea yes well, well, I think if it's they would have okay. if it was mapped from the very beginning that look if there was a hint of that okay these, no that's fair that's fair if there was just even a hint if they planned on let's have these things share and i'd be like oh that's interesting these aren't actual gods they're just they're just entities. They're perceived as gods. Like, they're just powerful right, yeah. beings 
that because that's what people do, right? If we saw aliens, we'd probably perceive them as gods. So I would totally be fine with that if that was the idea from the beginning, but it clearly wasn't, especially okay, in the yeah. first. That's 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 fair. That's all. I, I appreciate I that's all. With that. Like, I don't. I, I understand what you're coming. Why from. would you, Why would you disagree with that? Because of the idea is like, it. That's cooler storytelling. Having it be a, a wandering deity. That's just better storytelling. That is a better way to tell a story. You know. I because, mean, he's still wandering. It's because, just wandering the earth. Yeah, I understand. But the earth is like when you just, when you destroy Greece, that would have a huge effect on the rest of the planet. Like, period. Like the whole world would suffer from that. Rome is not that far from Greek um, gods, and they have not Rome. Um, other uh, it might be Roman gods. There, there are other gods that are like right, right, right next to them that that would affect directly. And there'd be interwars between them and stuff, and that, is, Look, that just feels there weird would be and dumb. some problems, of course. But I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Sure it, the, been told well it doesn't need to be as you could you could you could make you could make that premise. They make can make sense. it work. Exactly. It fine. I, I would have yeah. been fine if that was the idea. It's just it was just clear. Like say, if you beat the first game. It was, you know, they, they weren't even obviously planning on making a second one. They were just like, all right, he's God of War now. Now, this moment forth, everybody um, goes uh, to war in the name of Kratos or whatever. And they're showing modern war is going through, like, colonial times. It's going through modern warfare and all this stuff. And so it's just kind of showing you that this is the God and not there's a bunch of fucking different, obviously. I just feel like... Hey, to expand on the universe we already created, let's just say there's mul there's uh, multiverses, which would just completely explain why it was never addressed. Which would be, it's just kind of like a a easy way to put that to bed. To be like, oh, well, well there's multiple things. Obviously, Kratos yeah. didn't know, nobody knew. Instead, they're just like, nah, fuck all of that shit. We're just going to pretend like this has always been a thing. And I'm like, that feels... Shitty. I just kind of think it's fine. It, I mean, I know, look, I know what you mean. It doesn't ruin. Any, it mean. doesn't ruin anything for me to be. It is. It's just like, it was kind of like when I was. I feel the same. What? I feel the same way about. I, I get what you mean because it's like it's it's the same thing as any retcon that that kind of like fucks with previous things in in some way. Like Halo has has a couple of those too, where it's like you didn't have to do that. Yeah, it's yeah, it's that. It's you, not you a big didn't deal. Have to, it's you, just like well, why'd you do yeah. that? What do you, what is this? That's all. As a, as a comic book reader, you, I've I've understood retcons. They just happen, you know. It's just unfortunate. Like when, when literature, when a story goes on long enough, there will be retcons. That's the nature of the beast. My problem is that when retcons just, when retcons shrink the world instead of expanding them in a in a useful way, I have a problem with it usually. Like when it's like, all right, this person can do this now. It's like, all right, cool. Why can they do that? And they go back and they take things. They just make the world smaller because it's boring to me. And that's it. But at the end mm. of the day, this idea doesn't really hurt it too much i just think it could have been cleverly explained earlier or it could have just been cool if there were different realms yeah because yeah, realm it, travel exists so prevalently throughout the games already yeah so the but fact they, that ma they, they made are, their dumbass decisions <laughs> you know, they, like, yeah, why, why would you do that like you in god of war 2 you're literally in a different realm most of the game you're in the yeah, hell yeah, yeah. of the world you're, not, you're in hades which has multiple realms within it already in itself you know, like that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how that works. But it's like I, I'm not a writer. I'm not. I can like I know I, I I can write probably stories off the hands better. So let them do. They've done a good job so far. Let them do what they're doing. Yeah, it's um, it's yeah. it's such right. a minor complaint. <laughs> Come on, Kingston's grandma wrote in. Says sup nerds. God wouldn't say that. Says I can't oh, remember if anyone. <laughs> I can't remember if anyone has asked this, but th are there any games from your childhood that you swear no one else has played? Echo for me, this was too. Shifters by 3DO for PS2. I've never I've never fucking heard. Yeah, of that I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, but yeah, fucking hold on. Echo you guys, do you have answers for this? Echo the yeah, Dolphin for me, man. Echo, Echo the Dolphin is very popular. Yeah, hold I on. think a lot of people play Echo, especially there's a lot of I'm gonna uh, grab. Oh, um, I'm gonna grab something real quick because I have an answer for this. Okay. Um, oh, he's gonna grab whatever it is. I played there Echo was one for years, and everyone told me it was a fake game, and I was like, it's not fake, because I would describe the game to them, and they'd be like, that doesn't sound real. That's I'm weird, like, I dude. swear it's real. Echo was, they're sequels, like, that's what, I don't understand, like, it was, it was pretty popular. For years, they'd be like, oh, because you fight aliens at the end, they're like, what are you talking about, oh, you're a dolphin, you gotta, like, stop pollution, and then you fight an alien at the end, and they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I swear, I swear it's a real game, I love it. That's interesting, yeah, like, yeah, we, I had Echo, um, there was one game I know... <laughs> Almost nobody's played. It's called Destrega. It was for a PlayStation One. Destrega. Yeah, Destrega was one. There was Destrega. There was Cardinal Sin, which was a fighting. There were two different style of fighting games. Destrega was kind of like an open 
huge platforms where these people would have a lot of projectile type things. There was actually a story, but it was terrible. Um, uh, Cardinal Sin was a, was a medieval fighting game which had like environment kills and 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 had fatalities and shit like that. It, it was cool. yeah. Those are some interesting. So shit. I have, so I have two. This is an ET farming simulator called ET Interplanetary Mission. You never played that. Where you, as ET, walk around and just plant things. You never. And it's fucking. Chris, you know damn what you edited that image onto there. <laughs> Are you serious? No, you just. I just think you never played that Show shit. Show me the manual. You, bro, you heard about this it fucking, and then you grabbed it. Show me the manual. Show me the manual. Open the manual right now. Open the manual. Show me the manual. Where's the disc? <laughs> it's in a. It's in a um sleeve. Oh. It's not a real game. Did you That's actually play this mind. game or did you hear about it and you bought it? This was given to me as a gift. <laughs> By whom? Who the fuck would give you that as a gift? I, I, it was my aunt. She was like, Chris likes video games. <laughs> it's <laughs> wild how bad parents are at choosing everything. E. T. It's are you wild f- how bad adults are at choosing anything kids like, actually. Yeah. It's I understand like, it, though, because honestly, fuck? if I were to sh- if I were to shop for a kid today, I, I, I honestly, I really you don't you just have get them any Fortnite fucking skins. Idea. Fucking, that's it. Just give him money. Just give me money. A- actually, dude. that is really the actually answer. Just, I'm glad answer. I have this, though. I no, that's dope. That is a dope-ass it, relic. Because it's, <laughs> it's a fuck. It is the... I guarantee... I can't imagine that anybody else is... Like, I'm sure people did play it, but, like, there's no... Like, this is a PS1 game from... <laughs> Just planting tomatoes and going... And shit, like, and whenever, and like, he really sees broke. bugs... <laughs> this, was made in, this was made in New York City. Oh, nice. Two, 250... It's, it has the address... Oh, so you gonna go visit? Two hundred. <laughs> I should. Vi- I should visit this. I would. While I'm here, two hundred and fifty West Fifty Seventh Street, Suite Ten Twenty. Wow, the Suite New York, Two, New York. <laughs> it's got the suite. That's fucking nuts. I wonder what's there. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go visit the. <laughs> I'm, this is a video. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I, <laughs> I have to go. And the other one is, it's a PS2 game. Music maker, oh my god. rock your console. Oh game, my god, actually. dude! You ha- you know this, I know dude? Game. My I memory it, card, bro, bro. My memory card has okay, okay, dude. Okay, dude. I'm freaking out right now. Okay, <laughs> my okay. So I've been, I haven't gotten around to it because I don't have a PS2 or anything that plays PS2 games right now. I have memory cards that have some music, some songs that I've made that are so fucking chaotic and so insane. I can kind of remember what they sound like. And I've been, I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, early 2000s. I've been wanting yeah, to yeah. hear them again. And I just freak, I'm like, oh my, you just reminded me that I need to, I need to hear that shit. That is fucking, dude, I spent hours fucking with that shit. <laughs> I hate how, I, I, yeah, I, I, how happy you got. Like, you got like, you're like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> dude, because I think about it every once in a while where I'm like, yo, I one of the songs that I made is it's just it it could be Guantanamo Bay torture. It's just <laughs> so much noise happening, <laughs> like, dude. It, it was, it, I remember fucking around with. There's there's another there's a third game that I that I I I do have, but I, I feel like people have heard about it. Do you, do you know what My Street is? My no. Street. No. Let me. Sh- I'm gonna show you the show you guys the box. I'm sure the audience is gonna appreciate it. The box. I, I hated this fucking game. My. Do you say My Street? What do you say? Mine Street. Mine Street. The fuck is that? This was another. This was another gift. Mine sweep? from. Uh, <laughs> this was another gift from an elderly family member. Of course. My, what the hell is? Th- <laughs> is that like not Sims? Yeah, basically, <laughs> it's just like I like how the tags ripped was... off. This we it was like fucking. It was probably like two ninety nine or something. Yeah, well, <laughs> My Street PS two used. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where this fucking was, but it's 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 just some really fucking shitty. They got you that game because they had nothing else to get you. The, it was it, it <laughs> was in the bargain not... bin, dude. <laughs> it was like dug through that show. Chris, like, I guess Chris like is a this, kid. Right? <laughs> Chris is a kid. This looks like ki- a kid's game. I, like around the time, dude. Let me. What what year was this? What is this? Fucking. They went in that bin. They were like two thousand. Two thousand two thousand three. And I got this used, so this is probably like 2004. 
this is Halo 2. This is fucking Metal Gear Solid <laughs> time. Yeah. Like, this is w- not what I was fucking yeah, playing. They were sifting through this shit. They probably like, oh, what the hell is Tekken 4? Threw it out. I'm like, oh, this, though. Threw what the it fuck? Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> dr- fucking <laughs> Dragon Ball Z fucking Budokai 3? That gem. That gem. <laughs> Look at Tenkaichi. He don't care about this. What the hell is that? It sounds stupid. He, My as street, a kid, though. You feel it. And you're just hurting. You're like, they're naked. What is that? One of those Dragon Balls? What is that? One of those Chinese cartoons? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, communist propaganda. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. <laughs> fucking commie. <laughs> fucking commie. <laughs> Dude, I fucking... I don't know, man. I have so many weird fucking games. I'm, I'm sad at the amount of games that I actually, like, traded in and got rid Me of. Me, too. Because, like, when I think of... When I think of not even for value sake, like for having like a collection necessarily, but just like when I think of like all of the shit that I traded in, like I would trade in like 15 games for one game, and I think like that's so, so fucking stupid. stupid. Oh yeah, I about, that. I think back about it now, it, it's just it's just highway robbery, and our parents not understanding the way the video game world is, because obviously like my grandma. No, I like, think my par- my parents understood in some way. They were like, "Don't get rid of these, Chris. Like it's my not didn't just save your money." I want a new she game. Like, she was like, "Do you really want that game?" Yeah, that I'm a bad? stubborn asshole. I was like, I'm "Like shut the fuck I, up, Grandma. You don't know shit. You're from a different <laughs> place." You're a foreigner. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You had to get citizenship, you old? didn't you, Grandma? You fucking old, you, you eld. Old. Dude, I, I regret... Him. I sold... <laughs> I had such an impressive <laughs> PS2 uh, collection, and I I quit my job. That I was working out of Glendale, and I, I quit... I hated that job, and some random guy convinced me to quit. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he was just saying some, you know... Confu- I don't want to be racist, but he was Chinese, and he was saying some very like Confucius type like dope shit. And essentially, yeah, yeah. overall, he was just saying, "Hey, man, your health is more important than money." And I was like, "You're right." So I quit the next day, and then I had to sell a lot of stuff to make sure I could pay rent. And I sold my PS2 collection and my PS2, uh, and I, I to this day still regret that. Uh, Especially because I just loved having all the so many classic titles. Especially like I always think about just my Resident Evil Four. I don't know, like there's something about that box art yeah, that yeah. I really loved. And of course, I can always buy it again, which I've done with some things. Like I bought Mega Man Legends and lost it a couple of times and rebought it. Uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, me, Marvel Super Heroes versus like Street every, Fighter. I had every major Pokemon game, every like major Game Boy Advance release. I had, you know. And I like right now as an adult, I would because like for the thing for me is that I have a very hard time forgetting games I play all the way through. But I forgot so many of them. It'd be perfect for me to just play them again now. But I just got rid of them for like oh like one. If Chris grew up in the Bronx, you know, you go to like a random corner bodega and some guys like yeah, give me four games, I give you this this thing, and it's like this motherfucker's robbing me. <laughs> but I'm yeah. nine and I don't know better, and I'm by myself. Yeah, yeah morning, you're nine. You're morning. nine and. and you're nine and you don't know that you can say no. It's like I guess. Why would this person lie to me? He has no reason to. <laughs> it's so fucked up, dude. It's it's I don't know. I I I think about that shit and it really hurts me because I think I had so many. I I have like a decent amount still, but like it's nowhere near. I have no like what I had. No I don't think I have at all. No None. PS2. Zero. I have some PS1 games just because there's some of them I had to. There's a Street Fighter 2 collection that I had to have. Because if you, p- I had I had Marvel vs. Capcom too. I don't know where the I fuck that is. Sold it. Sold yeah. it when I moved. From sold the it. I sold Marvel vs. Capcom too because oh, you know my stupid ass thought, oh, there's gonna be another Marvel vs. Capcom game that's gonna be better than this. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, yeah. imagine that optimism. This is my only video game relic I have still. This is the only mm. one. Is that this real? Is this, this, this is Sapphire. Is that the, the you don't one. have like any disc at all, Derek? I kid. Well, I lived in the Bronx. Yeah. Then I moved from the Bronx to upstate New York. Obviously lost a ton of shit. And then I left New York to come here with, like, my Wii U. Jeez. I have no hard copy video game collection now. And now that my grandma's, like, in a nursing home now, my mm. aunt threw away everything that was, like, mine. So I literally none of my stuff is back home. It's time to build up, man. There's some games that I'll, I, have I will shit, always I have. have. Like that, but no games there's some anymore. games that I always have. Like, there's just Mega Man Legends, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Um, it's Dark Soccer's three. Those are the PlayStation games that I need to have. Uh, some of them like a uh, Vagrant Story. There's just some like these little things that like I really enjoyed. There's just some things that like I want to always be in my collection because I really appreciated these games. I haven't uh, built up my PS2 because that was that was uh, back in like 2010 or 2011. 
I need to work on that one, but I just I hate uh, thinking about it. I man. hate thinking about how much shit I like how many like works of pieces of art that I just gave up. And I'm like, yeah. God, it's it's really damn, aggravating. Damn, dude. I had so many of these things. That is if if my fun. If 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 I ever have a kid and he gets into video games and he he I I I don't think we're living in the same environment obviously because like physical media is pretty you know yeah, not yeah. right it, it's, it's, it's not the main way people it's it's not the way people play games anymore right. but if by chance he just is like yeah I want to get physical stuff. I'm no way in hell am I letting him sell that shit. Oh yeah, you whoop his ass. Like just no I way. Was like, I was like, just I was like, just hold on to it. Trust me. Hold on to it. Trust Don't me. be like I me. I regret every game. There's not a. I've never. I've always regretted selling a game. Every like, time. Always. Every time. Every time. Do. Not at the time, but like later on, man. I traded so many things for Destroy Bro, All Humans. I, I <laughs> Love Destroy All Humans. I traded Pokemon but, Heart Gold. Pokemon Heart Gold. Pokemon Ruby. Sapphire. And a crystal version for Street Fighter um, Alpha 3 for the Game Boy Advance. Because I really wanted it. Oh, my God. I Because I really wanted it. Not even the fuck. You had that version and not even the PlayStation one. I think fuck. about that. I think about like that because you just, you just don't know. Yeah. You're younger, you know. You don't really know the price of things. And I was still, I was still like, maybe, like, oh. I was still maybe, like, 13. But I didn't really understand the price of, like, this is more, but I want this game more right now. Yeah, that's it that's really all that like, trumps oh. your brain, man. Like it's 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 really crazy. I traded so much. I can't believe I got rid of Marvel vs. Capcom too. I can't believe I, I had so many weird. I had like a Dark Angel game, you know, from the show. Yeah, yeah. Angel? fucking ridiculous. Angel? Yeah, like Dark, Dark Angel. Angel. Dark Angel. Oh no, no Dark Angel. Do you guys remember Dark yeah, Angel? Just, I think Alba? it was like yeah, Jessica Alba and that, yeah. that dude in the wheelchair or whatever the <laughs> fuck his name was. Yeah, I had yeah, dude. Yeah, I had I had a Dark Angel game. I had fucking Marvelous Capcom. Dude. I had Hunter the Reckoning. Hunter the Reckoning, dude. Was like this shit. Hunter the Reckoning. Hunter the Reckoning. Hunter the Reckoning. I had Hunter the How Reckoning. Much that game is worth now, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. That game, dude. Um, I fucking that game was so fucking good. I love that. I game. loved Hunter the Reckoning. Dude, vamp, that and in Vampire Execution, not Vampire Vampire Masquerade, the one I came out later. Such good video games, bro. I never played but that. You don't, you do I don't have know. War of the Monsters? Do I have War of the Monsters? I don't. I never played that. I, I sold War of the Monsters too. I just don't know, man. It's not. It's I remember Hunter wrong, Hunter Wayward. That wasn't so as good. Stupid. After that was fun. Damn. It's really fun. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, Bob bought me. You know that old? There's an old um like Atari or arcade game called Defender or whatever. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was just like you know it just shooting things and they're scrolling and shit. And my mom thought it would be a good idea to, oh, let me buy him the PS2 version, a modernized version of this old-ass game. And I'm like, what? Why? What? what? Thanks, Mom. Thank you. I appreciate Hunter I the Reckoning is actually not that expensive. If you I, just want to get like a soft Oh, well, c sealed. C oh, my God. Hunter the Reckoning sealed on GameCube is $716. <laughs> oh, my fucking Damn, God, game. dude. <laughs> But you just had you just God. had it in your possession. I mean, well, I didn't have it because it was I was look I wasn't buying games. I wonder to keep if my brother seen, has all right? that. He should, but my brother might still have it. The version I had is probably worth nine dollars or something mm. because I opened it. But like, that's crazy. That was I love the kid, little man. Asian chick with the guns. She had the little, she had the little guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. The, and the katana. Guns. That game Wait, was she didn't have, me. Who had the katana. I think it was the black chick actually. I don't remember it well was enough. It? The, the Based off of the guns. So she had to, but they also have a. There's a melee weapon, and then they have their projectiles. So it's like you know the, crazy too. The 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 cross sword guy, and then he had a crossbow. The 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 priest dude. He did yes. There was that he had like a sword that had like a a, a cross on it. Uh, there was the, I think the big biker guy. I think he might have had an axe and a, and a shotgun. The Asians had the two pistols, and I think she had either daggers or. Something and I think there was a black girl that had just a pistol, one like hand cannon, and then she might have had a katana, if I remember correctly. Michonne. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, is that based off of Michonne? <laughs> let me fucking I, let me look up the characters. Let me, let me make sure I'm not. I hate looking back and knowing like, oh my god, so much shit I got rid of. I just... Hunter the Reckoning. Man, how dope would that be if they remade this fucking game? Hunter the Reckoning was dope, but I, you know what's crazy? I feel like Hunter the Reckoning actually could have, um, because it's such a, it's like a Dia it's not Diablo exactly, it's but like I feel like it could have, you know what I mean? Like I feel like they could have like made that into something like that. They could have, maybe not as, as successful, well, no the thing doubt. Is that but, like, it, Hunter, I, Hunter the Reckoning is a part of like 
Werewolf, Werewolves by Whitestone, Vampire the Masquerade, like that. It's a big well, series. If they came out, if it came out at the right time, like say when there was the zombie craze, right? Because this was way before the zombie craze. Two thousand two. Yeah, this was way before everybody was yeah, obsessed yeah. with zombies. So uh, you had Resident Evil, and that was it. That's basically. it. But it wasn't even like the. It wasn't like the oh the the Dawn of the Dead movies and Land of the Dead well, it was, it was, it and this it wasn't and this even fucking like show. And... It was like mo- you were monster killing. You know, you weren't even like exactly zombie. It was like you killed creatures. And I remember in Vampire. No, these zombie. were the main creatures were zombies. They were just called them rots. Because you, Dude, cause I you think kill, about because you, you kill werewolves in that game too. You kill where we kill vampires too. Yeah, the very. It's like the like bigger. You know, it's not like but the main. Those are big bosses. Yeah. Yeah, the main things are just I'm fucking just... zombies that are just clawing at you and shit. I'm just so I just man, I think about how much even just even the, just the PSP collection I had oh was so big. God, don't even get me and started, now bro. this is all I have left. I have of it. zero. I have nothing. I have four. I have four. I and I don't even. Started. By the way, I don't have the I don't have the fucking discs to these. I don't know where the <laughs> fuck they went. It's just it's literally just the cases. I don't know where well, any of this shit, shit is. It's such a fucking bummer. Don't get me started on my PSP. Yeah, I used to have. Like, I, I had, had so much like, shit. I had genuinely like almost every PSP you could think of. Bro, I'm not even a fucking. And I'm I not even a huge Final Fantasy VII person, and I had Crisis Core. <laughs> like, I had fucking Crisis Core just because. I'm such a fucking dumbass. Bro. <laughs> this conversation is making this conversation is making me angry. Yeah. dude, I want to play <laughs> Hunter the Reckoning so badly. Stupid, I, I want to figure out if I can uh, emulate this. You can definitely game. emulate Why it. Is yeah. God mad at me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what, is God? what I do? I'm not Kratos. I didn't do nothing, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He do nothing. Okay, so let's, let's let's move let's on. Let's, on. Yeah. let's try and knock a couple. Of, let's try and knock a couple more. Yeah, let's, let's how, do how, it. What time are we? We're at, at two. We're at two. We're at over two hours. We're at two. Yeah, we're, we're past it. Actually, we're past it. We're Wait, at two oh eight, which f- is upsetting. <laughs> oh well. All right, let's try and knock out a couple. Yeah, let's do it. It's upsetting because we're depressed. Uh, we're mourning over things we lost. That's why I'm <laughs> so upset. Hey. Pile of crumbs. Hey, Chris Sween, and the other and the, and the other one that's probably missing. He's fine. Hey, He's right how here. How dare you? First time I'm asker here. here. This question is for Sween. Have you seen the Persona Three remake announcement? If so, what do you think of the answer? What do you think of the answer and the stuff from Portable not being in it? Do you think it could bring newcomers to the series? Blah blah blah. I don't know, man. I, 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 Persona, Persona, Persona three. Guy, right? I played that game like ten years ago, and it's it, they're just make a new game. So this point, not the same <laughs> game over making... and over and over again. It's make a new fucking game. That's it. Like just I don't know, but they're weebs. Weebs will buy anything. Nintendo fans, weebs. Uh, uh, what's the name of that nigga? That fucking Japanese nigga that that like that fucked up Metal Gear. That made Metal Gear. Anything on the Kojima, Hideo Kojima? Kojima fans will buy anything if he, if Kojima came on a fucking brick, there would be riots for that brick. Like it's just it's insane. Like just I'd be the first in line for that of brick. Of course you would. Of course you would. Put in a shadow of brick. And I say, I, but I'm a re, I'm more of a recent Kojima fan though. You are mm. more reasonable, but you you're, to, you are a like I liked Metal. I liked Metal. I always appreciate Metal Gear Solid was a game I always appreciated. Like I, it's the Psycho Mantis stuff, dope, yeah, right? Yeah. Very much appreciated it. I didn't really play it really Metal Gear Solid 2 I watched my cousin play a long time ago and I thought it looked cool like the, the, that oil rig area was like burned into my brain mm. but I never I still didn't Any play it interesting yeah yeah and I didn't play like I didn't play Metal Gear Solid prob- like really until like bl- until I think Metal Gear Solid 5 came out oh and then like and then I went backwards from that because it's like oh okay so I'm pretty late to it, and even then, I like I like them a lot, but like I didn't really like. I remember when Death Stranding was announced, I was like, I can't wait to shit all over this because this looks so fucking pretentious. And then I played Death Stranding, and oops, I loved it like immediately. It's so interesting. And, yeah. and it's it's so like it 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 doesn't even come from like a nostalgia factor for me. I just I I think that guy's fucking really interesting, and the shit that he makes is really cool. Uh, person that he he combines cinema and video games in a way no one else has. And I respect him. Yeah, for it's that. a, it's a little bit, it's. He takes the best parts yeah, of cinema. You know what I would, you know what I would say? Video games I, in a very seamless way. He does, he does movie like the way. Do you, do you know David Cage, yeah. the guy who, um, the guy who did uh, Sure Become Human and shit. Yeah, Heavy Rain yeah. and and stuff like mm. that. He's like Kojima bad. He's like a failure, Kojima. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 <laughs> it's like that is taking games and trying to make them movies. And what Kojima does is I feel like I feel like he takes movies and tries to make them games. Like when you look at like Metal Gear Solid and like that entire thing, it's like that is a fucking that is just a spy thriller. 80, like just straight up. Thriller, 
but it's a but he just takes it and makes it a game. Whereas like David Cage does kind of like the opposite, where he takes like he takes like a you know like a, a walk around kind of you know character interaction game and, and turns it into a fucking movie. Um, oh, well, I'm gonna take the serialized drama about a, a origami killer and I'm gonna. I'm going to make you interact with it and shout Jason in a mall. <laughs> Jason? Um, <laughs> Jason? But, uh, I, yeah, I, still I don't know. I played that game. <laughs> I still, I you still ever played Heavy Rain? No, I do, I've seen so much you know footage what? I've of never, it. I, I, like, I, never, I never finished it. I played Heavy I played Rain like, to the end. Nice. How was it? Terrible experience. <laughs> Not terrible. <laughs> Not terrible. I'm over It wasn't yeah. that good, though. Definitely wasn't a great game. But Can you I buy it, it um, digitally? Uh, like uh, like no, I, because it's on PS3. It's on PS3, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, remember, be, you can't figure out how to run that fucking console still to this yeah. day. <laughs> that shit is janky uh, as fuck, bro. Yeah. That shit was janky as fuck when it came out, and we knew like, oh, this is this shit is stuff. Stuff is dude. Skyrim on the PS3. Skyrim. There's a great moment in uh in <laughs> there's a great moment in in, uh, in one of the one of the sacred podcast. I don't remember. It was like with everybody, like the Xbox podcast and the PlayStation podcast. We did, we did this like joint episode and we were talking about games that uh, games that we're ashamed that we missed and co- uh, that we plan to get back to. And Colin was like, I think I'm finally going to go around and play Skyrim. And everybody was like, what? You never played Skyrim. And then I had to go like, well, in his defense, he had to play the PS3 version back then, which was Fucking hard. Like that game ran at I think ten frames a second actually on PS3. It can't be. That and it would be bad. like like you couldn't you couldn't leave doors open because that would like log the memory or like clog the memory. So like if you ever you couldn't pick anything up, you couldn't like leave doors open if you opened them already because then it would have to render the outside. You had to do all this crazy shit just to get the game running on PS3. It's fucking it really. That it's bad. crazy. <laughs> It was really bad. I wouldn't know. It's that's definitely a 360. Like, why would I? I of course, I, I played Skyrim, the second wave of it coming out. Yeah, you played it on, played it on the PS4, PS4 right? Yeah. Oh, interesting. And I, I, I right. I'm glad. I'm glad I did because if I was a pothead and I had Skyrim in my junior year, I would have not graduated high school. So I'm mm. very happy <laughs> that I did not yeah. have Skyrim <laughs> when it was at its peak. Because I would have just never left my house. I would have yeah, just stayed man. home. My girl was like, go to work, school. And I'm like, I can't. I have so much to do in Skyrim. You don't get it. Yeah, I've, I've played. The, yeah, it's too many. I play that game so much now that I can't times. play it anymore. Too many. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a handful more years before I play it again. Because I played it a lot, of course, when I got a, 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 a PC. And it's like, oh, great. I can do way more shit with it now. And then once I was done with that. You know, once everyone was naked and shit, and then I'm like, all right, I'm good. I'm good for years. One of and... our friends recently played it, and hearing him gush over how much that world exists, like how much of the world exists, how much things you can do, was magical. Like, seeing someone experience that game for the first time was an experience. So you gotta, like, I feel that. I like that. Skyrim. I like that. Yeah. I, like, I like seeing I other people's play reactions. It, but so. I, feel like she'll ne- I feel like she won't let herself enjoy it. I, I don't, yeah, yeah. You don't think so? I just want to let her no. it. it's mm-hmm. not, Lily hates Skyrim. It's not Disney princess <laughs> enough. Yeah, Lily. Lily. She, some, she sometimes when I'm in the same room with her, she just whisp. She walks past me and whispers, "I hate Skyrim," and then leaves. <laughs> Literally, that exactly. <laughs> uh, the Nega Chin returns for Bussy. Nice. Wrote in. He says, "Hello, Schizo Demons. Would you rather? Would you rather? <laughs> uh." Would you rather have to fight Prime Mike Tyson for three minutes every week or have to sleep with current day Hillary Clinton until she is satisfied? Uh, I could, I could kill her hand, Hillary Clinton. I'd, I mean, I'd smash Hillary, but she ain't going to enjoy it, I'll tell you that. I'd have to, I'd have to go for Hillary. Yeah, I, I'm not fighting. I'm not That's fighting a death wish. Prime Mike Tyson. Prime? That's a death wish, bro. Like fucking I'm not fucking 18-year-old Mike, Mike Tyson. Mike I'm going to die. Like no, 20, 18 through 20. Oh, the argument. 20. 18 through 20. 20 year old like Mike Tyson. He, when he was ready Right before he then. went to jail, when he beat that Jamaican I, guy's ass, like that guy literally was like running away. Instinct. Bro, it wasn't even I his choice. I, <laughs> I fucking. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't fight five-year-old Mike Tyson, man. <laughs> Like I, I like I'm not I'm not going near that yeah, guy. Fifty year old doesn't matter. It, it, it's current nah, Mike Tyson right now that, would probably dude. beat the fuck out of many people. Oh, absolutely. He's still fuck. I mean, he he discovered uh, uh read he rediscovered uh roids because for a while he kind of like chilled. Like say if you go look at him when he's uh, uh t- was it two thousand nine uh, the Hangover 
if you look at him around that time, he's kind of chilling out. He's a little doughy. And then he's in deflated. recent years, he's, he's fucking a, a monster again. And I'm like, oh, he's 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 back on the sauce. What's crazy is that Mike looks small. He looks small compared to boxing. He's from the era of boxing where everybody was like six seven. Well, all heavyweights are tall as shit on average. Especially That's the bro, problem. Bro, right before that era, they weren't. They well, were like they, big, but they weren't giant. They were all in six foot range because to be if you're in extreme shape and to be over two hundred pounds, typically you have to be tall. Yeah, because when you have almost no fat on your fucking body, it's hard to get anything. to 200 pounds yeah. unless your skeleton There's weighs no a ton. fucking fat on my body. There's no fat. <laughs> There's no fat on my body. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, he looked like, a, he was like, what, like, like 5'10 five five or something? 11. I think, yeah, he's like 5'10, five, 5'11. Five, he's under six feet. And everybody else. Mike Tyson? Yeah. yeah. And everybody. Mike Tyson is like fucking. I think he's like 5'10. No, Mike, Mike Tyson is like 4'12. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's insane. <laughs> Mike Tyson is fucking <laughs> shorter than Imagine me. Imagine being like fucking over 200 pounds and being four. Like, but how dense would your muscles have to be to like. to, to... Imagine. I want, I want you guys to imagine for a moment that Mike Tyson. Every, every video you've ever seen of Mike Tyson is accurate, okay? Every single video of him is like is unaltered as is. He looks the way he looks. <laughs> but then you meet him in person and he's five foot flat. It would be so like how are you not beating this guy? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Because he hits like a bus, bro. But he's so like how do you even get their reach their chins? He jumps. Like, he he does a little hop. A uh, I guess that's he does a quick little hop, bro. I mean, jumps maybe he banks their chin, bro. You had, like, the, I mean, there's a handful of NBA players that are fucking below six that still did all right. So. Seeing Nate Robinson dunk so often was dunk. ridiculous. Yeah, seeing he him was get like knocked five, out by Jake six. Paul, too, was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Who? I to by the way, I totally forgot that VidCon was happening. I'm not going. Oh, wait, what? I had no idea that that was happening. Vid 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 oh, VidCon's happening right now. You, did you know that? You no. right now? I'm not even joking. Well, VidCon's for TikTokers and stuff like that now. You know, it's I just now it makes sense. I saw somebody say, uh, "Do you know that autistic guy, uh, Bo Blacks? I don't know if you've heard of him, he reads like twi uh, tweets for his uh, uh, his YouTube channel. It basically he finds Twitter drama and he reads it. I thought maybe you guys have heard of him, but he said something about." Oh, uh, getting a house together. I I just glanced over a tweet. I didn't know what the. F I didn't even. You know what I mean? It didn't make sense to me. So you just go. But now that you're saying Vidcot, you must have been talking about that. Uh, I I thought because was it last year or something that it was in the fall or something? Or I thought they moved yeah, it. I thought, there was something like that. I, I can't remember. Exactly I thought they it moved it. Video. I think during the pandemic it was like something that. like that. Uh, but now it's back, back in June. I had no to fucking be... idea. I I totally. I totally blanked out. I haven't out seen anybody talk about it other than that little thing, but it wasn't even th they, he didn't even say VidCon in it, so it didn't register to me. Yeah, I saw I, I saw I saw Actman tweeting photos. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's there. Like, oh. Yeah, he's there, and I'm like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Okay. <laughs> hang out. I'm Why I'm in a town. That's I had no fucking. Well, he's in Anaheim, so like, but like it's it's still fucking. Yeah, yeah I, I had uh, no fucking idea. Whoops. Oh, interesting. I didn't even. Anyway. that's so crazy. I had no idea who the fuck who goes to. Who's still going to VidCon? It's more of a TikTok. That's what I'm thing, saying. Dude. That's what it is now. I, I'm like, sure, and anymore. it's like anyone that we know. Like, who the fuck's... I don't know anybody that's going. Other than you said Ackman went, so... I saw some people tweeting that they were that they were there. It's like, like Vegas. Um, should have I, I know Jakey. Both. I know Jakey. Jakey and, and, and Eddie and, and those guys went. I, I don't know, man. It's, it's, oh, really? it's... I don't know who... It's weird. Maybe, maybe it's just because the pandemic really, like, fucked things. And... Because we haven't been paying attention, it it is still something that people go to. But like, I, I don't know. I yeah, maybe maybe next year I'll go. I, I don't know. I totally fucking. I mean, forgot. If we all tr coordinate. It didn't I'd even go. cross my mind that it would have happened again. I would have. Yeah, True. I would have thought about it if you didn't say anything. Uh, so is oh yeah, I see it all. I see so it all. Over my dreams feet. there, it's like weird. the real dream. I didn't know it was. I thought maybe it was some fake guy. But the fact fake is... Dream. Yeah, like some guy just pretending to be Dream, but apparently it's Could actually... Could you imagine you know? some random person? I'm Dream, guys. I'm Dream. You want to <laughs> see my mask? <laughs> Come here, kids. Let's talk about my mask. It's, yeah. it's me, Dream. I mean, we already know what the, he looks like. It's uh, what, What's the fucking... Who cares? He put his mask back on. You know that, right? Yeah, I see, I see he that. He redone Dude, his have mask. You guys... He's at the, he's at the <laughs> VidCon and all. That's he literally the only thing people are talking about. Again. 
That's all they're talking about on here is, uh, oh, I see, I guess Eddie's there. Eddie Burbeck. Oh, wow, what's happening? I, uh, Eddie Burbeck's at VidCon. Yeah, yeah, all the, the, those those guys I think are, are there. I, I don't know, man. Oh, okay. I, I had no clue this was fucking yeah. even. But, uh... Yeah, one person on my timeline, okay. Let's get one more question before we go, because we're, we're getting a little, going a little long. We're going a little length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, we'll do... Uh, that'll... We're, we're good. How long, how long is this? Yeah, it'll be 221? <laughs> yeah, well, let's, let's, let's start the... Yeah, it's going to be a long yeah, Okay. We got, we got a decent amount of questions in. Uh, uh, all right, thank you, guys. We're going we're gonna to head the fuck out. Remember to go on over to fucking patreon.com slash the snark tank. Jump on in there. I keep forgetting to say that. I got to make a point to say that. Um, also, give us, uh, if you can, if you... if I know this is... I got to start saying this at the beginning of the show. Yeah. But leave us some nice reviews on podcast services if you can. Go to fucking iTunes and all that shit. Like, it helps us out. Or uh, else. But, uh, yeah, let's fucking uh, so show me your house and just read the names. Oh. Let's eat the names. Devour. Count me down. Three, two, one. Caucasian Container, the Cracker Barrel for Gays. Uh, the UNSC Pillar of Autism, Tinfoil Tyrant, 13,000 feet under the sea, and you hear the opening notes of Under Pressure. Uh, putting, blackface, <laughs> putting blackface on my light bulbs. Chris's singular sperm that gapes his urethra every time he comes. I nut so hard I put holes in my drywall. Uh, sneaking into Chris's apartment to swap out the contents of his precious glass snapple with that of an inferior plastic one. That would be so fun. I would know, by the way. I could, tell, I could tell on sight that something's wrong. Florida felony femboy on death row. Doc Jenkins and the Tism Schism. The church of baptizing your newborn in Belle Delphine's bathwater. She pipkin on my pippa. Possum, yes, that's my name. I bust out laughing during the scene in Spider-Verse when, Uncle, when shot Uncle Ben shows up in the queer theater. And uh, the, in the, in the, in the quiet. What the fuck? <laughs> you really misspelled quiet there. That's fucking wild. Shows up in the quiet theater erupted in laughter. Piss bed. Damo Nation, Average Clit Energy, Jared from Subway has a cameo in Sharknado 2, um, Star Coffee, The Negachin Returns for Bussy, Damn, I Nutted in a Man from Kanye West hit song, Very Gay Am I. Nice. Damn. Or Very Gay I Am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Damn. Here we go <laughs> Very again. Gay Am I is like a, like a fucking uh, Dr. Seuss book. Um, about 21% of U.S. adult population is illiterate, nearly 70 million people. Yeah, that's not surprising. If you've been on Twitter, you would know this. <laughs> Transfem Gremlin. Uh, can Logan Paul abandon a million pigs? My sexual awakening was the quirky goth girl from NCIS, and now my taste in women is ruined. Yush Asker, the angelic dungeon master, who would like to congratulate you for saving the microwaving the microwave baby by shoving the horse off the bridge. Psy Gangnam Style claims we are not unarmed. Korea got a bomb. U.S. Be- could become a target. You know what I'm Let's saying? Go. More eleven. Uh, Craig the Canadian, it's your boy, Shawnee D, N double A I C P. Uh Matt Walsh is a hero of our time, sweet baby gang for life, indie butter knife on YouTube. Gay Weezer be like, what's with these homos fucking my boy? Why do they gotta suck? <laughs> nice. <sighs> you fucking so dumb. <laughs> what's with these homos doing something something isn't bad though. Yeah, what's with these homos? I will say that's a, that's that's these blankety blank. Yeah. Suck in my dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the testicular torsion wizard has arrived here to take your sperm and strangle your tubes. Uh, three ti- three XO witnessing Chris's carcinogenic one piece takes. Parentheses. I started January fifteenth and I'm on episode seven hundred and forty. Jesus Christ. More power to you, man. God, God, you could, yeah, that's fine. Slurping, stroking, smoking, joking. Emoticons going like this. Morning outlet. Sheeny tie. Uh, I'm gay for you and you're gay for me, Spider Man. Why are you gay for that guy? Uh, spider, uh, Nancy Pelosi killing a Palestinian with her massive tits. Obi won't you blow me? Death by wolf. Sweeney, you have something between your teeth. Kremlin to Gremlin. Guy. Avi, something funny and topical. Gay system of a down. Psycho. Penis ball sack ass. <laughs> that's that's not clever at all. <laughs> Penis ball sack asshole gaping. Penis ball sack ass makes you hard. Makes you hard. So fucking... Makes you really want to go. Makes you Come. really want to bust. Makes you really want to. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. 
<laughs> so stupid. Wageslay583, <laughs> do you ever think though. come resurrection? I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers Emporium of Submarines made by Ed, Ed and Eddie that play Sonic Drowning music. <laughs> uh, Spaceballs, <laughs> the patron. <laughs> I just love how, like, <laughs> motherfuckers already knew. Motherfuckers already knew we we're going to talk about this shit, so they got their of names course, ready. Dude. <laughs> I love it. It's pretty great. Spaceballs, the patron. Why heart, why heart big but pee pee small? <laughs> tell, tell him Steve, Dave. Ah, Limp Biscuits and Gravy. John Strickland, the white. White dude stalker who says the N word, comma son of the entrenched CEO of Ocean Gate. Mm. Uh, Merck's eighteen eighty nine. There's so many subs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so many subs. Mm. <laughs> the state, the state took my parrot because the only phrase it knew was "You want to see my pecker." <laughs> The Stupid. the first Church of Keith David featuring Liquid Sween and his undying love for the gays. <laughs> Liquid bro. Sween, it's awesome. I wish. I hope. I wish we all had a liquid. Yeah. I don't really think you know, I, like I'm, I don't need a liquid. I don't need a person. I don't need to. I don't need to have to fight someone for my identity. Wouldn't it be amazing though to meet your liquid? Well, what if you met your solid? <laughs> what if you're the? Liquid? What if you are the exactly. liquid? So what is solid? Or you're the solidus? You're the oh, perfect shit. one. Yeah. yeah, you're the so- yeah, yeah, yeah. solidus. Uh, uh, and he's just David. <laughs> <laughs> you're just David. <laughs> you're, I'm solid. You're liquid. I'm solidus, and you're David. <laughs> But all my exes live in Texas. That's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. Nice. Pre-Raz, a Blake eight nine six, cami vagina scented candles, nine eleven themed baby shower. It's twins. <laughs> um, Alaskan oil field trash. Sue Hulk tickle my ass hairs. Nikki Ziggy Dom shooting Marie in the head while crying autistically. I am a brain surgeon. Love Lobotomized it. Jesus it. can't wait to lick on Hulk Hogan's slop wet fucking fat That's pussy. My brother. Uh, like a dog in a water bowl. The sounds of mommy and daddy fighting downstairs, but it's drowned out by Derek and Sweeney's slang argument. Every time I come, it sounds like Squidward walking. Jackson Dupont, badly brave, hugger Derek, Nor- normal Mc- McPerson, your new roadmate, Aetherian, progerian hunter, Melfus one heir to the throne of haphazard, and rounding out our list as always, as has been the case since I feel like fucking day one. Probably. It feels like. uh, king of haphazard. The fact that someone's your the king. roadmate bothers me. I don't like having roadmates. Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like blow each other while we're fucking driving. What is that? I don't that get sounds it. lit as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever got a fucking blowy while you were driving? Yes, I Pretty have. Pretty crazy. It's uh, it's not. It's not is. Let me tell you why it's not as good. It's not as good because usually the person doing it is more freaked out because they're like thinking you're gonna crash. Nah, bro. So I'm gonna crash. <laughs> I'm gonna crash. <laughs> you know what? I had a fucking horrible. I, I I had a, dude. I had a dream <laughs> the other day where like I swear to God, it, it like it was. It's the most. I wish I had the artistic skill to draw something like this because it was so disturbing, and I think it would make like a really amazing like horror creature. But like, I had a dream that I guess I was like I was walking through like some building, and out of an elevator, it was these two people sixty nining, but crab walking effectively <laughs> with all of their arms, with their legs and arms, and it was like the most disturbing thing I've ever fucking it? seen. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like actually sort of, but like more, you know. Fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> more fucked. Anyway. Literally, yeah. A little bit more fucked. Anyway. More f- <laughs> I like it. Get uh, somebody to sketch that for sure. Yeah. Hey, somebody sketch that. Whoever's listening, somebody uh, just, just rough sketch that and send it to a snark tank team or whatever the fuck. I forgot yeah, what Yeah, give the... me a roughie of one of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me a roughie of anyway. one of those real quick. All right. Rest in peace uh, to, the, to the submarine. To the actual submarine, not the people. Rest in peace. To the actual, <laughs> such an asshole. <laughs> Not the people. Rip, rip the sub. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the pressure did that. Yeah, so. man. All right, bye, the y'all. Arms, in the arms, don't of go the underwater. Get the fuck out of here. Don't go in underwater. The arms for arms arms of the water. We got wait crushed. Wait in the water, children. <laughs> wait in the water. God's going right, to stop the water. All right, that's enough. <laughs>